Their high availability cloud servers are the perfect solution for clients needing one or more secure scalable servers with built-in hardware failover protection. For details, see them online at InnoScale.net. In the news, the U.S. Navy has officially acknowledged that video footage purportedly showing UFOs flying through the skies are, indeed, actual unknown objects that flew into U.S. airspace. The Mind Unleashed reports that while officials admit they are largely baffled by the unknown flying objects, they also admit that encounters with them have been quite frequent, and they also don't want us to call them UFOs. Instead, the preferred terminology is Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAPs. The three clips of footage taken by Navy pilots were originally released in 2017 and 2018 by To The Stars Academy of Arts and Sciences, a UFO research organization founded by former Blink-182 frontman Tom DeLonge. The three videos have been dubbed FLIR-1, Gimbal, and Go Fast. At the time of their release, TTS called the videos the first official evidence released by the U.S. government that can be rightfully designated as credible authentic confirmation that unidentified aerial phenomena are real. The Liberty Bee is sponsored in part by Brave Botanicals. High quality kratom and CBD at reasonable prices with excellent customer service. Brave Botanicals is activist owned and mission driven and believes so strongly in the power of kratom, they're giving it away for free. Just go to freeouncefkratom.com for a free ounce of kratom delivered to your door. Just pay shipping. That's freeouncefkratom.com. This is the latest edition of the Liberty Beat. Find us online at libertybeat.news and snls.news. Your news now continues. A massage therapist who was in the midst of a sexual assault lawsuit against disgraced actor Kevin Spacey has died, according to his attorneys. The Mind Unleashed reports the alleged victim decided to file the suit under the condition of anonymity, considering how public the story was and how private the details involved were. As a result, his name has not yet been released to the public. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the anonymous massage therapist was recognized as John Doe in court documents and was represented by attorney Jeannie Harrison. Spacey was reportedly accused of battery, assault, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment in court documents. According to the lawsuit, the massage therapist visited a residence for a scheduled appointment with Spacey in October of 2016, when the former actor led him to an upstairs room and locked the door behind them. Spacey complained that he had discomfort in his groin area, then forced the masseur's hand onto his genitals. Spacey then became aggressive, attempting to kiss the man and offering him oral sex. An active member of the United States Marines and a 19-year-old girl were both arrested for manufacturing and distributing LSD to members of the military and civilians in the area of Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. 23-year-old Andrew Christian Gray and 19-year-old Allison Alexia Seely were both arrested. But the Mind Unleashed reports it's not clear what the relationship between the two is. However, a statement from the Onslow County Sheriff's Office said they are both connected to the same area in Jacksonville and were the only suspects of a joint investigation that the department carried out with the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. Gray was charged with felony trafficking of LSD by sale, delivery, manufacturing, and possession, while Seeley is facing additional charges, including conspiracy to traffic LSD. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the Conscious Resistance Network, featuring videos, news reports, and articles from a spiritual anarchist perspective. Experience the Conscious Resistance at theconsciousresistance.com. How would you like to have your business featured on the Liberty Beat? You can just send an email to libertybeat at snls.news for details. This is the Liberty Beat, produced in partnership with SNLS News and listeners like you. The Liberty Beat is online at libertybeat.news and snls.news. I'm Mick Murrow, reporting for the Liberty Beat, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Saying that a few images of displaced refugees would probably do the trick, Americans admitted this week that they could probably be talked into another war. Citizens Nationwide told reporters that if they were to see a blurry satellite image of potential nuclear weapons or footage of an evil militant group, they could easily see themselves getting on board with another major military effort. I'm not saying I'd be gung-ho about it right away, but if they called it something like a concentrated military operation or something other than war at first, I could see myself warming up to the idea. 
Honestly, just hearing a top official on TV say something like patriotic duty might clinch it. And in this week's op-ed pages, an area man finds it's just his luck to lose thousands at the blackjack tables every night for the past few weeks. In other news, a senator tries submitting a rejected bill to the Canadian Parliament. What mom would have wanted is evolving over the course of funeral planning. And a new report finds you're actually saving money with a Franklin Skate Center roller rink membership. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's our toll-free number, 855-450-3733. That's the number you call to get on the radio. Better yet, to change or set the subject. Free Talk Live is open phones. That means you can call with a topic and we'll talk about it. It doesn't mean you have to talk about what the host is interested in. in. And that's a big difference between this show and some other big shows. Pretty much all the other ones. All the other ones. I think we're the only one left. Uh, But we like to listen to you and talk about what interests you. The we I refer to as myself, Chris. I'm Ian. And I'm nobody. And well, I don't even know really how to introduce this topic, so I'm just going to say it. This story is about Argentina and condoms, which... okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. That was one of the first things they started running out of in Venezuela. <laughs> Are they doing it again? I believe that. Now, that's a really good analogy. So Free Talk Live has spent a lot of time covering the situation in Venezuela. To us, we see it as uh, writ large what happens when you embrace socialism. Mm. And in this case, it was uh, in Venezuela's case, it was not the people well they were they did embrace it a bit but then it it got embraced on them well it only takes 50 plus 50 percent plus one to embrace it no the rest of the uh or the rest of the people are done for right it starts out that way and then if if your leader embraces it then you know you don't need a 50 percent majority because you already got a tyrannical strongman there Right. And he can make you embrace and especially it. in Venezuela, they they confiscated all the guns, and then they gave them back out, but only to communists. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be a hard revolution to fight. So I've been following Venezuela for a few years, and I've I've found it. I would say interesting. It's not interesting. It's pathetic. It's tragic because it's exactly what happens when these types of programs get implemented. Socialistic. Mm-hmm type programs and a socialist government lead to people eating zoo animals now i don't say that facetiously they actually did Uh, well and it goes further than that because during the great leap forward in china they were eating their children right there's record of people being prosecuted for that so this is nothing that it you know i don't find it surprising at all another thing i don't find i sort of find argentina surprising but not really so, Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> so this all goes back to the earlier days of the internet, and I'm going to say about five or six years ago, and I was just reading through my news feed. Okay, the that's internet has the been along days. as that's will you acknowledge since the sixties? My will brother, will you acknowledge that five years ago it was an earlier version of the internet? Yesterday, it was a different yeah. earlier Thank you. version of the internet. <laughs> uh, but social media really hadn't blown up or anything but i was just reading my news and it was a story where argentina got a new president and i can't remember her name um but she came out and said you know this is the start of a new era for argentina we are going to i think that was a vita and (laughs) several other of her of the argentinian presidents over the years well this was another one of them it wasn't a vita but she came out and said this is a whole new start of new starts (laughs) we're gonna bring bring along a whole new batch of them well and how she announced it was this is a new start you know historically she said we've had problems with our economy and i recognize that and we are going to get started right off the bat we are going to massively increase the supply of money so this kind of problem never happens again to Argentina. 
Oh, somebody has completely failed to understand economics. <laughs> there well, you that's go. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> she wrote a glowing, you know, her a glowing gave a glowing speech about the, you know, how modern economics and Keynesianism can solve this. They just need the courage to try. But somehow, and this is not surprising either because it involves governments intervening in your economy. And if they're consistently doing that, they can prop up a system for years. The funny thing about Keynes is when he was talking about overuse of printing money, and even Keynes recognized that printing money was not always a good thing, which most Keynesians have lost that little detail. Um, but the uh, even he uh, quoted Stalin once and said, uh, uh, Stalin was right. The quickest and surest way to overturn the existing order of society is to debauch the currency. This brings all of the hidden forces of economics into play on the side of destruction in a way that not one man in a million can diagnose. <laughs> well put. Yeah. It, it was really a great quote. And it is. And we we have the benefit of history. You know, we've seen... Keynesianism play out over literally over the last hundred years almost. Well, so has everyone else. They just don't know what they're looking at. Yeah. But when I read that, uh, it was pretty clear what would happen. They're going to debase their currency. Their currency is going to lose value. That's what they all do, though. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're it's, usually quieter about it. They don't usually make a big announcement. Oh, yeah, we can solve our problem just by printing money because most of them are sophisticated <laughs> enough to know that that's not actually going to work. But you know, they can print money and then they've got a larger percentage of the money supply, yep. but they don't change the value of the money supply. So isn't it amazing when you're presented with this, a news article quoting the president as saying, I'm going to debase the hell out of our currency. Uh, and I was just like, oh, man. And I remember posting, yeah. you know, I'm going to call it right now. Argentina's going down and it slowly, slowly has. They've been very active in, you know, continuing to monkey with their economy. But eventually it does what they all do. It gets out of it's out of your hands. Yeah. economic law just sort of takes over and you know you can buck things for a while but you can't buck them forever yeah that's when true the, the laws of economics will absolutely assert themselves they reality will. doesn't care about your five-year plan <laughs> surprise <laughs> buenos aires in south america's capital of romance argentine lovers are cutting back on one important cost contraception Amid a biting reception, a recession, a sharp uh, currency devaluation, and painful inflation, sales of condoms and birth control pills have tumbled, pharmacies and manufacturers say. So again, people are feeling the pinch, no pun intended, and contraception is one of those things that tends to go to the wayside mm -hmm. early on. It's a luxury. And, of course, yeah. that's super problematical because, in reality, it's like the ultimate necessity. If you can't get enough food, having more children is about the worst thing you can do. <laughs> exactly. I mean, who would advise a poor person? Yeah, you need to have a kid. That's what you should do. And put them to work. Yeah, yeah uh, 18 more years of expenses, and maybe in 10 of them you'll get some work out of them. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the odds are particularly good that uh, the rhythm method is going to, uh, you know, do is going to suffice. Uh, but maybe people are thinking that they won't have as much sex. I suspect they probably will continue to have sex despite the uh, the financial woes. Oh, quote, yeah. quote, the devaluation of the peso is killing me. Unquote. Actor and comic Guillermo Aguino Jess in a one in one viral video in which a young man apologizes to a potential partner saying he has only one condom left until the end of the year. <laughs> oh good lord. Quote, I love you, it's not you, it's the socioeconomic situation, unquote. As so what do you the do then? Just keep rinsing it out? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, at least he's got the one exactly he doesn't have to go right to the saran wrap <laughs> could have gone further 
Uh, underneath the comic Don't is a... Don't use tinfoil. Apparently, that's really uncomfortable for I her. would believe that. Um, <laughs> underneath the comedy is a bleaker reality. Uh, South America's number two economy is expected to shrink 2.6% this year mm. and is grappling with 50% plus annual inflation. Woo! Yeah, that means Ooh. prices are going to appear to go up very, very quickly, and mm-hmm. food and everything else, it's a pinch, and it's another tragedy just like Venezuela. 855-450 free. We want to hear from you. This is Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live is now on more than 200 radio stations nationwide. We've had more than 18 million podcast downloads, and we claim millions of listens a month. We're a multimedia ad venue with print, email, web, and terrestrial radio marketing platforms. We strive to have ad packages that cater to advertisers big and small. Contact me today at MarketFreeTalkLive.com to see what we can do for you. MarketFreeTalkLive.com. If you're a local advertiser, contact this station. But if you can service a national audience, contact me, MarketFreeTalkLive.com. Warning, this is a privacy alert. You are being spied on right now as I speak by your phone. If you want this to stop, visit GoDarkBags.com and we'll show you how elite military units protect themselves and how you can too. GoDark Bags are lab tested and guaranteed for life. Visit GoDarkBags.com now and enter discount code FTL to save 15%. That's GoDarkBags.com, discount code FTL. Your privacy depends on it. End transmission was such a sweet, lovable animal, and people would want to pet him, and they'd come up, and they'd get close to him, and it would be this instant, oh, my dad didn't want to touch him. It's like, ooh, get the stinky dog away from me. Even after we'd give her a bath, she would still stink. Very stinky, both bad breath and bad gas. I asked the vet, and he said, some dogs are just stinky. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. The ingredients convinced me that it was definitely worth trying. After about a week, he started smelling normal. My husband and I were really kind of astonished. Dynavite is nutrition. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. CEO Jeff Potkel went berserk earlier this morning, becoming drenched in his own blood and the blood of several employees as he viciously demanded the staff produce more web video content where he would quote f***ing kill them all. We need more videos! Videos with bands! Random videos! Funny videos! I want a video with a celebrity! I don't give a s*** which one! You think this is funny? (laughs) I'll show you funny! threw our office manager's body against the door and then told us that nobody could leave unless we came up with three original video ideas. Then he made us watch as he bit his own tongue in half. People don't want to read. They want videos. They want to sit at work and watch videos. Videos need to go viral. 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 This is the Onion News Network. There are lots of ways to listen to Free Talk Live. Our podcast has been around since podcasts began, and now the FTL feed is loaded with content besides our full show archives. Did you know that we make it easy for you to customize your podcast subscriptions? We have different feeds, one that includes only our full shows, one with just the Daily Digest, and one with just the Edgington Post. You decide what you listen to. It's quick and easy to customize your feeds at feeds.freetalklive.com. That's feeds.freetalklive.com. The new fourth edition of Healing Our World, The Compassion of Libertarianism, will take your understanding of liberty to a deeper level and has over 1,300 updated references, new cartoons, and a forward by Dr. Ron Paul. With discounts for multiple book purchases, the fourth edition of Healing Our World is a great gift for the liberals, pragmatists, environmentalists, and Christians in your life who think libertarianism is cold-hearted. Get yours today at healing.freetalklive.com and use promo code FTL for a $5 discount. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. (laughs) 
This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's our phone number, 855-450-3733. That's the number to get on the air and take control of the airways. We'd love to talk to you. You can also contact us via Discord. Discord is a very cool app. Just load it on your laptop, on your phone, on your tablet, doesn't matter. Use your high-speed internet connection and your quality microphone. And you can contact us, and you'll sound just like you're in here in the studio with us. The us I refer to is myself, Chris. I'm Ian. And I'm nobody. You know, uh, one of the things that everybody everywhere, not just Venezuela or Argentina, uh, need to really consider is getting into the world of cryptocurrency. But it's especially important if your central government where you live happens to be in a highly inflationary mood. Uh, because I think, you know, and obviously the future could prove me wrong, but I think things like uh, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Dash or Bitcoin Cash, that many of these cryptocurrencies are going to give uh, and, and, and have been giving uh, people in Venezuela, for instance, a refuge Absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. from these state-run currencies. And eventually, if enough people try these things out, uh, and they find out that they're actually useful and they actually hold their value better in a lot of cases. In, in, in some cases, can many cases, go up in value over time, mm-hmm. unlike government money, which is constantly going down in value, just different rates uh, all around the world, that maybe they'll just keep using them, even if uh, you know things kind of iron out with whatever mm-hmm. their fiat currency issues are. Well, they're going to use what they trust. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if if they've ever looked into Argentinian history, which I hope the people of Argentina have. Uh, the, many of them went through it. It wasn't too many you know, yeah, a couple exactly. decades ago. That, oh, yeah. yeah. And and so, yeah, I was kind of being tongue-in-cheek right. there. But, uh, you know, the the they have... Uh, uh, re- they've devalued the currency repeatedly. They've. Uh, I think they did haircuts at one point on accounts down there. Yeah. Oh, they did haircuts ago. on accounts. I think they did. Wow. I'd have to double check that. It's it's not just you know the older generation, or it's not just mm-hmm. the newer generation going. Wow, look what this president has screwed up. It's all generations. And yes. I've read stories of of families, for example, in Venezuela and Argentina. From this aspect, it's no difference. You know, mm. they're just distrustful. They know it's going to get screwed up. They See, don't trust their government to fix it. Be, and what they need to learn is you don't ever expect your government to fix it. Yeah. See, what I'm dying to do, I would love to see this happen. I can't imagine how it should, aside from alien intervention. Take two countries in South America, and just say. Okay, country on the left, all your capitalists go to the country on the right. And country on the right, all your communists move to the country on the left. <laughs> and and just let them divide or, or take one country and split it up between the capitalists and the communists. And, you know, have a real experiment. Show the difference, starting with adjacent countries and, as much as possible, identical populations. Well, to some degree, you do have that in South America. And people naturally mm. move to where it's more more beneficial to them. Um, yeah. And I believe, and I haven't, and I was just making a comment, but we, I need to dig deeper into where Brazil's at. But Brazil is part of BRICS. Uh, Brazil is the... Um, the big horn that sticks out on the east side of South America at the top. Agreed. Uh, I oh, thought I, you said you had to look into where they were. <laughs> where they are economically. Oh, 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 It's the okay. bee in the brick, right? It's the bee in the brick. So you have, uh, let's see, Brazil, Russia, India. China? See, it's not China. Maybe it is. Uh, and South Africa. Let me see. Um, but, you know, these are companies countries that are more embracing of they're more embracing of capitalism but they still all have big government you know um russia is a good example of this they've they've embraced free markets to some degree but they don't want their bureaucracy to go away now as i recall is brazil the country that just elected a what they call hard right so probably centrist uh guy that's getting compared to trump to Trump, yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that was Brazil, brasio right? yeah. or something I don't like remember that his name but yeah he's yeah. been compared to trump uh-huh so uh yeah i i don't know if we're gonna say that that makes brazil a 
remotely. I don't think uh, saying the United States is free market. <laughs> well, no, the United States isn't Trump uh, isn't uh, free right. market, and tr- Trump is specifically anti free market. I mean, he's the guy great. who jacked the tariffs. It's going to be great. He's the guy trying to shut down trade. You're going to have so much trade, Rich. You, nobody, you're not even going to know what to do with all the trade you got coming. This yeah. is the insanity of Trump. Oh. Oh, okay, because, yeah, that none of that yeah. is true. Uh, of course. Um, <laughs> so uh, I did look – I had a friend who was in Argentina. She grew up there uh, you know, during this time frame, uh, 2001, I think, 2002. That, that range was when the, uh, the latest banking crisis right. uh, happened. And I used the term haircut, but I can't find the, that used in this summary. But basically they did something yeah. like that. What they did was they locked down – uh, the ability to you know access your bank accounts essentially, so they could continue to inflate the currency without uh, people being able to run on the banks. Well, that sounds I, like a U.S. U.S. style banking holiday. Yeah, that's I what they call the, it. I uh, think the the haircut thing. I know Greece, Greece had did. haircuts recently. Yeah. So anyway, I just want to clarify that. So if you are in these countries or anywhere in the world, you need to get into cryptocurrency. And the way you do that is by getting a cryptocurrency wallet. I use Edge Wallet more mm-hmm. than any other. And that's not because they're a sponsor. That was true uh, since before they became a sponsor of Free Talk Live. But it's a great wallet and it supports multiple cryptocurrencies. Of course, Bitcoin, BTC, uh, Ethereum, various Ethereum tokens, Stellar, Monero, Ripple, uh, and uh, Dash as well and, and more. Go to uh, edge.app to learn more about Edge Wallet or just go ahead and download it for your iOS or Android device where you can buy, sell, trade, and securely hold your favorite cryptocurrencies. It's Edge Wallet. Go to edge.app. That is their website. I was uh, talking to a lady today and she was interested. She's been amassing Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Dash. Coincidentally, those she the... married. <laughs> <laughs> she is, and her husband's a very nice guy. Okay. Um, but um, her her point was, you know, I I wouldn't mind, you know, sticking my toe into the crypto water just a little bit more. Ah, okay. But I don't know how to do it. And she's sitting here, thing, you know, we were talking about exchanges and stuff like that. And right, and she doesn't have, you know, it's not big holdings. And I, I'm like. You might want to try Edge because you can have that sort of built in. Right into the wallet. Yeah. yeah. You don't uh, have to go to some exchange. And the support's right there. You don't have to load another wallet. I think it would be a really good fit for her. My impression is that that's going to be more expensive if you trade a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're a frequent trader, there's probably no substitute for like Bittrex or something like oh, that. But, yeah, you're right. But Edge Wallet is good when you want to just uh, just change something over once or when you occasionally balance right. your holdings. Right. Yeah, and just for the average user. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and uh, that's the thing to remember. Trades cost money just like they do on Wall Street. But in this case, you actually own it. <laughs> Wall Street, you never know. 855 450 free. We're talking about Argentina and, and condoms, th- right? And condoms <laughs> and their economy all at once. 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. Do you have a crypto wealth advisor or coach? If so, has your cryptocurrency advisor been investing in technology stocks for over 20 years? Have they left the corporate world and retired? Or are they still trying to make a weekly paycheck? Have they produced six-figure results for their customers in the past 30 days? And very importantly, are they a member of the Digital Currency Council? Seth Maniscalco is the founder of Crypto Wealth Coach and CryptoWealthCoach.com. Seth invested in his first Roth IRA at 19 years old while living abroad and has been investing in Wall Street and technology for over 20 years with experience in all the money markets. By comparison, so many of these so-called crypto gurus have barely been alive for 20 years. Seth has not only experienced personal success from his own investments in crypto, he has also helped his clients earn six and seven figure incomes, including helping investors make over three quarters of a million dollars in EOS in 90 days and 1,225% in only five and a half months with Chainlink. Seth has help for the small do-it-yourself guy on up to crypto whales. Increase your wealth. Visit CryptoWealthCoach.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? 
Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Cell 411 is a free app for Android and iOS that replaces government-controlled 911. Cell 411 allows you to preset a group of friends or private organizations to show up at any emergency. Cell 411 is a nightmare for the state because it proves their so-called services aren't needed. Cell 411 has had thousands of installs, and of course it's covered by the Bipcot No Government License. Cell 411 because your friends won't shoot you when you're in trouble. Without the government, who would build the emergency services? You and Cell 411. Get it today at GetCell411.com. LRN.FM now has a Discord. Discord is a free text and voice chat platform, and we now have our own server with a bunch of channels at Discord.LRN.FM. You can join other listeners as they chat about various things during our live shows, or anytime, day or night. Discord software is available cross-platform, so you can have it on whatever device you want and take your chats anywhere. Join our Discord at Discord.LRN.FM. That's Discord. Dot LRN dot FM. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. Freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S. Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. Join the LRN.FM Discord for live chat 24-7 at Discord.LRN.FM. That's Discord.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's our toll-free number. That's the number you call to get on the air. That's 855-450-3733. And we've been talking Argentina and condoms and the economy. Um, The problem with Argentina is they they have embraced for at least five, six, seven years this new effort to go full Keynesian, and that do means that they're doing things like inflating the money supply to ensure liquidity for the markets. And what's happening is they have inflated their money so much that it is losing value. That's what happens when you print a lot of money things when you ri- when you lie down with keynesians you rise up with inflation <laughs> well guess what uh we heard earlier this week that the u.s government uh federal reserve has also pumped a bunch of money uh into the economy i think it was 128 billion dollars yeah um so they're doing it here too it's just that they've managed to pull it off for a lot longer and i guess that has to do with the fact that uh, the dollars are all around the world you know, the world's reserve currency, so it's a little easier for them to play around in the U.S.? They they do, and we have a bigger balance sheet. This is how it's been described to me by, um, you know, some, some Austrian, some Austrian economists that actually have degrees in economics. Um, that we have a much bigger balance sheet. We have much more value. You can look at all our, our homes and all that stuff, and if you come up with a balance sheet, of the United States, it's awfully big. More wealth here. More so wealth, and mm-hmm. it takes longer to really turn it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have that benefit. A, comp- a country like Venezuela or Argentina doesn't have that. 
Now, what's and happening? Of course, wealth goes a lot farther where it isn't. Correct. You know, one of the nice things about if you, if you imagine a, a homogenous world without uh, without borders, one of the things that would happen is the wealthy people would tend to spread themselves out across the globe or uh, uh, around the globe, and you know that i think that would t- and also the you know the poor people if there's a place where everybody's poor the, and there's some place else where people are hurting for workers then okay take these unemployed people and put them on a bus right <laughs> and ideally that's how all this would work now it's not going to stop wealth from congregating more in a in a you know some beautiful you know south pacific island because hey it's a beautiful south pacific island not everybody can afford to get there right. but it will distribute the work around the globe where it is needed most and that mm-hmm. and believe it or not kids uh when you just do distribution of work as opposed to distribution of wealth you get economies uh that yeah. grow and and function well and the unfortunate thing is a lot of millennials misunderstand capitalism. And for that matter, people from the beginning have misunderstood the theoretical di- uh, behavior of capitalist systems because from the beginning, there has always been a buyer's market for labor. Absolutely. We are going to go to Fabian in Texas. Fabian, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Hello, you're on the Hello. air. Oh, um, I, I like to talk about HISD and um, HISD. Way, yes. What is that? District. Excuse me. The school district. The school district. And which district is are we talking about here? Um, the one in Texas. Okay. okay. Hey, Have right they ahead. been in the news recently? Um, no, but uh. Down in Texas right now, there's lot, really bad floody, flooding and raining, and um, I believe that, and we're still having school, by the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, like um, Clear Lake ISD, they have no school. It's it's only HISD. Okay, okay so, so that's just what's an, the, an what's update? the issue here? Is it that you you know school sucks and so you'd rather not go, and you wish that the rain could keep you out of school? Because I don't blame you if that's the case. No, I'm just saying that um, I believe they should, you know, not have school because... Uh, yeah, I agree um, with you. They shouldn't I, have I, government I, school because government school is god-awful yeah. and it is a place that no uh, person should be subjected to if they actually care about learning. So, we agree. Yes, I, and I, I'm, I'm very serious about school. It's just... Mm. Well, no, if, you're serious about your, if you're serious about your education, you should probably get out of school. Yep. <laughs> Hey, thanks, thanks for the for call, call man. man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah um, oh, I'm losing his name now. Mark Twain said, "Don't ever let your schooling interfere with your, your education. education." So, if you're getting some time off school, go read something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go read something that your your teachers will probably tell you is false. Exactly. <laughs> uh, back to Argentina, South America's number two economy is expected to shrink 2.6 percent this year and is grappling with 50 percent plus inflation 50 percent plus now now Mm -hmm. the interesting thing about these inflation numbers like jump change compared to venezuela yeah but the u.s runs what are we running about two and a half but it's it's more in the level that people can actually imagine so the equivalent of what's happening if you have uh have 50 percent inflation is over the course of a year, if you have a hundred dollars, that hundred dollars buys sixty six percent worth at the end of the, or sixty six dollars worth now at the are, end of the year. So you've mm-hmm. lost a third of what of everything you have if you hold it in that currency. Correct. Now people are quick to say, well, the United States. I mean, at least we're not Argentina. We're not Venezuela. Well, ours our rate only goes it's like 2.5 but that's the official to, government number to three percent yeah you're right mm. it is just the that's number not that the actual they, inflation it's not and the other thing people forget is that if you have decade upon decade of two point or two or two point five percent inflation it adds up it does you added two percent inflation this year which makes your starting point next year 
two percent higher than it was a year ago and the year before and so and on that's and bad. so on i mean just on its own that's bad but remember when when it comes to the actual inflation numbers we don't know what they are we have no clue because the government uh leaves out very important factors when they calculate that number they'll oh, like Ian. leave out a whole category you're of talking products. about stuff that you're talking about stuff people aren't even gonna buy <laughs> like what like heating oil he- housing is one of the big <laughs> ones that gets left out energy energy uh, who sometimes uses be, energy uh be left out and basically uh, you know i I, th- I think they just pick what sectors to, sectors to exclude based on, well, these are high right now. So mm, I bet they do. You they know, do, and different sectors way. come in and out. I mean, that's the thing. And so the, the moral of the story, kids, is don't trust the numbers the government gives you. Right. Unfortunately, it's very hard to well, come by those numbers. True, but you can trust your own eyes and ears. You can Correct. look and you can say to yourself, hmm. I'm going through the grocery line. I'm spending $100. I'm getting half as much stuff as I got 20 years ago. So there's your, you know, one example of the mm-hmm. con- continuous rising prices that are a symptom of the government's inflation. That's that's not inflation. They teach you in government school that that's mm-hmm. inflation, but that's actually a symptom of inflation. Exactly. Or if you're out there thinking you can't live on minimum wage, ask yourself how 20 years ago I could live just fine on three thirty-five an hour, right? You know, 20, mm-hmm. 30 years ago, actually. But but still, you know, in a healthy capitalist economy, at least according to Adam Smith, you're going to see a um, a steady decline in prices due to people finding more more efficient ways to do things, and you're going to see a consistent rise in wages um, as more and more people get jobs. You, We would. That yeah. would be happening right now if the supply of money wasn't being monkeyed with by our government. Uh, we would see the falling prices if the, if the money supply wasn't being monkeyed with, and we would see the rising wages if they'd let us create enough jobs to eliminate unemployment. That's a big part of it, too. 855 450 free. So you might find this subject a little dry, but it's not dry when people are starving and people are having to go without birth control. This is not a good situation for Argentina. Free Talk Live. Fellow patriots, my name is Todd Savage, founder of BlackRifleRealEstate.com. Like you, I was a prisoner of the alt-left sanctuary state until one day I chose to lead my family to freedom. Today we live on a sustainable 20-acre homestead where we shoot, hunt, garden, and homeschool our children without the tyranny of the nanny state looking over us. If you're ready to flee the city to the freedom of Idaho or Montana, our Black Rifle Real Estate team is here to help. Go to BlackRifleRealEstate.com. That's BlackRifleRealEstate.com. Advertising is simple. It starts with someone who has a need. Mom! And then gets more specific. Mom, I want pizza. Then we add urgency. I want pizza tonight. Before you know it, your GCN advertising message is reaching millions of listeners. Listeners who are definitely in need. We We want want pizza! You see, advertising on GCN is simple. Your message meets their need, and the result means new business for you. Tell us about your business. Then let our super creative department go to work to craft just the right message to feed those who have an urgent need. We want pizza tonight! GCN has the most affordable national radio advertising rates, period. And millions of people listen to GCN radio programs on over 1,000 AM and FM and XM stations and streaming audio live. Get started today with GCN, the Genesis Communications Network. Just shoot us an email, advertise at GCNlive.com. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Don't you hate that feeling in the pit of your stomach when the police pull you over? Most people have no idea how to handle it properly, and they promptly get fed into the municipal fee-generating meat grinder. Or maybe you recall that feeling you get 
when you go to the mailbox and see one or more letters from the IRS. You get a sense of impending doom, don't you? So let me ask you, if you could learn how to use the law to beat the IRS, traffic tickets, almost any courtroom scenario, collectors, credit card debt, and even mortgage debt because of fraud perpetrated against you, would that be worth knowing about? Don't laugh. Investigate. Check out the life-changing benefits of the Lighthouse Law Club at their website, lighthouselaw.club. That's lighthouselaw.club. And while you're at it, visit the Lighthouse Law Club YouTube channel. You might be in for a pleasant surprise. The LRN.FM social media channels have been revamped. We've eliminated Facebook and focused on other platforms like Twitter and Mastodon, the decentralized alternative to Twitter. On our accounts, you'll find posts from multiple LRN.FM show hosts together in one place. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.lrn.fm, or better yet, move to the decentralized Mastodon social media platform at toot.lrn.fm, T-O-O-T dot L-R-N.FM. I think you'll like it. Are you a cryptocurrency advocate? The Crypto Tip is the ideal outreach tool to help new people discover cryptocurrency. It's a printable business card size tip that you can give to service providers, preferably in addition to a good cash tip. When the server scans the QR code, it'll bring up an explanation of cryptocurrency, how to install a wallet, and allow them to claim the tip. If they don't claim the crypto, you get your tip refunded to you after a time period you specify. Plus, if they do claim the tip, you get an email alert. Create as many tips as you want at CryptoTip.org. That's CryptoTip.org. Live video of our Keene, New Hampshire-based shows is streamed on DLive. Please follow and share at DLive.LRN.FM. That's DLive.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. That is our toll-free number. That's 855-450-3733. You can call and you can set the topic. We're talking about Argentina and we're talking about economies and we're talking about ways the governments mess with your head and tell you one thing when the opposite is true. In this case, economic information. The governments love to put out their economic indicators, things like our inflation rate, while they exclude things that nobody really buys, like anything in the energy sector. It's as if the government doesn't recognize that you put gasoline in your car or you heat your home with heating oil. Or that you have a home because they also exclude real estate. That's interesting. Um, the inflation rate would have looked a whole lot higher if the housing bubble had been re reflected in it. And that was a result of them pumping money into the economy. Absolutely. And uh, most of it's still there. <laughs> it's uh, it's insanity. And I don't know. Uh, to, to me, I've always seen the U.S. economy as it's a house of cards. Mm. And mm -hmm. every so often it's going to crumble. Last time it was. We pumped so much into things that weren't really real, um, you know, meaning the stock market, and everybody mm -hmm. was a paper millionaire, uh, and into, you know, not houses, but in the loans that backed those houses and said, we're going to collateralize yeah. all these things and make these things a thing, and yeah. well, their they, price is going up, so the stocks are going up. Yeah, they kept they kept thinking, well... You know, we'll be able to sell this for more. We'll be able to sell this for more. Well, you can't sell a house to somebody for more than they can pay. That's not how math works. So once once the price of housing gets so high that people can't afford housing anymore, Nobody that bubble's going to pop. The problem is it's been held half popped. Because if you imagine what would have happened in the banking sector, if the banks had been allowed to go bankrupt, all of the foreclosed homes that they had in their inventory would have been dumped on the market at auction at the same time for yep. 
cash. Okay, and so what? It, what would have happened? And this is what they were terrified of: is the bottom would have fallen out of the real estate market, well, which would have been the biggest redistribution of wealth from rich people to poor people in history. All of a sudden, a bunch of people would have been able to afford a home. Exactly, but instead, because they've kept that. Hey, they've held the collapse in abeyance right. by bailing out the banks, and as a result of which, there's a big hunk of that real estate uh, market, which real estate bubble, which still remains unpopped, and that's how you can have a situation where. We're we're up to our butt in homeless people in the United States, but what we have even more of is empty foreclosed houses. That's how they keep their real estate expensive. They just keep it off the market. Yeah, and that keeps the supply and demand. And it, the problem is, is you can't indefinitely keep a bubble from popping. Mm -hmm. That's what these things do. That's the business cycle. Uh, but they're going to try, and they've they've managed to keep that. And it's not just houses, but it's stocks. You know, they have mm -hmm. allowed the the price for stocks of all companies has it, what twenty five thousand. I don't even know what the Dow Jones is now twenty five, twenty six, mm -hmm. twenty seven. It's insane. Uh, that's why I don't play in there. I don't want to play their reindeer games. Um, I'll I'd like to buy things that I actually feel uh, have are tangible or that I have an idea that they're being treated honestly. And in this economy, you can't assume that anything's honest. Yeah. The uh, people in Argentina found that out too. The silver market is a great example of that. When I worked for Citibank, um, I was dabbling with trading in silver. And, uh, and so I was, uh, I was calling up uh, commodities brokers, trying to find one who could allow me to actually buy a thousand ounces of silver at spot price because that's what spot price is for it's for a thousand ounce ingot but i just wanted to buy the thing and have it delivered to me can't be done As in, i mean you got to be big if you're going to buy a thousand ounces of silver you got to be well <laughs> you know i still haven't figured out what the process is so the question is if you can't actually get physical delivery of the silver at spot price how 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 is that spot price that's not spot price you can't get it at that price well, well uh, delivery costs extra well delivery is another thing but the thing is there should be a point if you if you walk up to somebody's warehouse uh and and buy it cash and carry you know well the, they're still the, going to want to make something on it they're still going to want to want to make something on it. But gonna, they the got to send a guy back there with whatever, you know, equipment necessary. It's a 60 plus pound mm. uh, brick of silver that you're talking I'm about. Gonna put it on that hand, around. I'm going to put it on a hand cart. Well, yeah. yeah, but that's what gold mining companies do. They they uh, they acquire the stuff at less than spot price mm -hmm. by digging it up and ah. then they sell it at spot. OK, now. To, to believe in all this, and it's interesting that we're talking about silver because I did bring in a story about silver, too. Oh, really? Yes. Um, so J.P. Morgan, they're one of the big banks, you know, and they've been the caught. Worst. They've been caught in some malfeasance as far as their, you know, their metal exchange uh, desks and stuff like that. Like they've been fined a few billion dollars. Uh, the U.S. attorney is now charging J.P. Morgan's metal desk as a criminal enterprise under RICO. Um, this stuff has really? been going on so long. There's been so much price manipulation. Wow. Uh, in this market. We've been waiting for that. I remember when I was at Citibank, we were talking about that. Nice. Oh, you're not paying attention then. This story has repeated itself, I guarantee you, a half dozen times, all involving J.P. Morgan. J.P. Hmm. Morgan has paid somewhere, I want to say, around $500 billion in fines for hmm. things that they've been well, caught Well, see, it with. obviously fixed how they, uh, they behave, right? No, all that it's, it's a... When Called did they cost get hit the doing, first time? Do you know? Oh, I'd have to go back. But there's a website that tracks the amount of the fine and where they got hit and what portion of J.P. Morgan's business mm -hmm. uh, got hit with the fine. But it's hundreds of billions of dollars. Um, you know, what's five billion dollars here or there? You know, if you're if you're raking in a hundred billion dollars, then five billion dollars it it's a cut into your profits. It's not a loss.
Yeah, well, you know, five billion there, five billion uh, here. Sooner or later, you're talking about real money. But um, <laughs> <laughs> this comes to us from Blo- somehow. I don't Bloomberg. think Jamie Dimon is going to go behind bars for this. I'm just going to go out on a limb and make that prediction. He's well, the president or whatever CEO. He hasn't yet. U.S. JP prosecutors. I'd be delighted if he did. U.S. prosecutors took an unusually aggressive turn in their investigation of price fixing at J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, describing its precious metals trading desk as a criminal enterprise operating <laughs> inside the bank for nearly a decade. Well, let it me, takes one to know one. Let me see. Mm. Operating in the bank for nearly a decade, the prosecutors charged the head of J.P. Morgan's global precious metals trading operation and two others on Monday, accusing them of, quote, conspiring to conduct the affairs of, of an enterprise involved in interstate or foreign commerce through a pattern of racketeering activity, unquote. All right, so what's that actually mean, though? I don't think that means anything at all. (laughs) I think what it means is they've been acting like criminals, and even though we're charged with overseeing the banks and we should be keeping an eye on them, somehow they were able to keep it under our noses Mm. for 10 years. So how did the math work on this thing? What was the uh, what was the content of the scheme, if you will? That's a reference to the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO, a law often used against organized crime rings. I'm looking for your... Uh, the U.S. has rarely invoked RICO law in big bank cases. It usually suggests... Because they're their buddies. Exactly. So why would they? It use, uh, suggests that J.P. Morgan may face deeper legal jeopardy going beyond the several individuals if, who have already been prosecuted. I wonder if they irritated some of the other insiders. I wonder if this yeah. is an actual power shift. Oh, well, it, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say however it plays out, mm. J.P. Morgan is going to pay a whole lot of fines. They are going to unfortunately let uh, four or five uh, patsies go, um, and they will continue to do business as usual. Well, if anything happens Mm. to Jamie Dimon, I'm sure a nice golden parachute will protect him on the way down. It will. (laughs) Um, And this is interesting for me because, you know, in in my store, we have a cryptocurrency vending machine, and we get a lot of crypto people. One of the big, um, big groups of people we have coming in are these silver guys. I call them the silver bugs. They, they're coming in and they've been buying a little bit of silver, a little bit of silver there because they weren't getting the returns on silver. Turns out people like JP Morgan suppressed that price. And Let's they see if we can find out what they did coming up too. We're going to do that. It's 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. Warning this is a privacy alert. You are being spied on right now as I speak by your phone. If you want this to stop, visit godarkbags.com and we'll show you how elite military units protect themselves and how you can too. Godark bags are lab tested and guaranteed for life. Visit godarkbags.com now and enter discount code FTL to save 15%. That's godarkbags.com, discount code FTL. Your privacy depends on it. End transmission. You know what sucks? Not being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want, within legal and ethical constraints, of course. Being stuck in a boring job or stressful business, or living in fear that your wife or girlfriend might get mad at you if you do what you want. I'm Caleb Jones, and my staff and I have taught hundreds of thousands of men how to create location-independent income and how to date women under your terms. Go to freelifeinfo.com to download seven free books and podcasts so you can live a life like this too. Should you be able to earn an honest living free from senseless government interference? The Institute for Justice thinks so. That's why we've spent years defending hard-working men and women from pointless government regulations. Nationwide, IJ has created opportunity by reducing government power. But there is still more work to be done. Visit our website today at ij.org. Let IJ take care of the government so you can take care of your business. 
Some of you asked, and now we've delivered. LRN.FM's live Keene, New Hampshire studio shows are now streamed in HD on Twitch. Visit our channel at twitch.lrn.fm and give it a follow. If you have Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription on Twitch. If you use it on our channel, Twitch will give LRN.FM a monthly piece of your Prime subscription cost. So please watch, follow, share, and subscribe to twitch.lrn.fm. That's twitch.lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Produced in partnership with SNLS News and listeners like you. Online at LibertyBeat.News and SNLS.News. I'm Mick Murrow with your latest edition of the Liberty Beat. Gold is trading at $1,491, silver at $17.71, and Bitcoin is trading around $10,161. Today's prices are brought to you by InnoScale. Take off with Managed Cloud. Looking for a safe, secure way to store your important files online? Let InnoScale handle it for you. Their high availability cloud servers are the perfect solution for clients needing one or more secure, scalable servers with built in hardware failover protection. For details, see them online at InnoScale.net. In the news, the U.S. Navy has officially acknowledged that video footage purportedly showing UFOs flying through the skies are, indeed, actual unknown objects that flew into U.S. airspace. The Mind Unleashed reports that while officials admit they are largely baffled by the unknown flying objects, they also admit that encounters with them have been quite frequent, and they also don't want us to call them UFOs. Instead, the preferred terminology is Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAPs. The three clips of footage taken by Navy pilots were originally released in 2017 and 2018 by To The Stars Academy of Arts and Sciences, a UFO research organization founded by former Blink-182 frontman Tom DeLonge. The three videos have been dubbed FLIR-1, Gimbal, and Go Fast. At the time of their release, TTS called the videos the first official evidence released by the U.S. government that can be rightfully designated as credible, authentic confirmation that unidentified aerial phenomena are real. The Liberty Bee is sponsored in part by Brave Botanicals. High-quality kratom and CBD at reasonable prices with excellent customer service. Brave Botanicals is activist-owned and mission-driven and believes so strongly in the power of kratom, they're giving it away for free. Just go to FreeOunceOfKratom.com for a free ounce of Kratom delivered to your door. Just pay shipping. That's FreeOunceOfKratom.com. This is the latest edition of the Liberty Beat. Find us online at LibertyBeat.News and SNLS.News. Your news now continues. A massage therapist who was in the midst of a sexual assault lawsuit against disgraced actor Kevin Spacey has died, according to his attorneys. The Mind Unleashed reports the alleged victim decided to file the suit under the condition of anonymity, considering how public the story was and how private the details involved were. As a result, his name has not yet been released to the public. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the anonymous massage therapist was recognized as John Doe in court documents and was represented by attorney Jeannie Harrison. Spacey was reportedly accused of battery, assault, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment in court documents. According to the lawsuit, the massage therapist visited a residence for a scheduled appointment with Spacey in October of 2016, when the former actor led him to an upstairs room and locked the door behind them. Spacey complained that he had discomfort in his groin area, then forced the masseur's hand onto his genitals. Spacey then became aggressive, attempting to kiss the man and offering him oral sex. An active member of the United States Marines and a 19-year-old girl were both arrested for manufacturing and distributing LSD to members of the military and civilians in the area of Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. 23-year-old Andrew Christian Gray and 19-year-old Allison Alexia Seeley were both arrested. But the Mind Unleashed reports it's not clear what the relationship between the two is. However, a statement from the Onslow County Sheriff's Office said they are both connected to the same area in Jacksonville and were the only suspects of a joint investigation that the department carried out with the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. Gray was charged with felony trafficking of LSD by sale, delivery, manufacturing, and possession, while Seeley is facing additional charges, including conspiracy to traffic LSD. 
Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the Conscious Resistance Network, featuring videos, news reports, and articles from a spiritual anarchist perspective. Experience the Conscious Resistance at theconsciousresistance.com. How would you like to have your business featured on the Liberty Beat? You can just send an email to libertybeat at snls.news for details. This is the Liberty Beat, produced in partnership with SNLS News and listeners like you. The Liberty Beat is online at libertybeat.news and snls.news. I'm Mick Murrow, reporting for the Liberty Beat, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Bruce Springsteen completed his new sci-fi concept album, Red Dust, which explores the lives of struggling 23rd century carbonite miners on Mars. The 14 tracks on the album address a range of everyday trials and tragedies faced by blue-collar Martian men, simply trying to put food on the table for their embryonically harvested juvenile clones while living under the hypocrisies of a corrupt planetary federation. In business, top financial experts have indicated that any hope of recovery for the struggling U.S. economy rests solely on Spokane, Washington resident Bill Laughlin, who is currently browsing the power tools section at Sears. At 10.10 this morning, Laughlin investigated a scroll saw which sent stocks soaring nearly 300 points. Fifteen minutes later, with Laughlin straying away to try on sunglasses, Congress called an emergency joint session to offer Sears tax breaks in exchange for sending an experienced salesman over to help. In other news, a local man pushes the four millionth button of his life, and an area teenager is smoking like he's been to f***ing war or something. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's our toll-free number, 855-450-3733. You can also catch us on Discord. Discord, just load the Discord app, use your high-speed internet connection and your quality microphone, and contact us. You can find out where to go to call into the show with Discord by going to discord.freetalklive.com. But first, I want to tell you about accepting cryptocurrencies in your business. There is almost nothing I enjoy more than having a customer say, yes, I would like to pay with Bitcoin, or I'd like to give you some Dash. Do you take it? I say yes. Do you operate a retail business, and are you looking for a solution for point-of-sale cryptocurrency acceptance? It's never been easier thanks to HelpMeTakeBitcoin.com. There's no paperwork, no approval process to open an account. If you already have a tablet at your cash register, you're almost done. Just visit HelpMeTakeBitcoin.com and follow the simple steps. Within moments, you'll be accepting cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Dash, Bitcoin Cash at your store. Get started now at HelpMeTakeBitcoin.com. That's HelpMeTakeBitcoin.com. You know, the guys over at HelpMeTakeBitcoin.com, we love those guys. They are longtime, actually, hosts. Derek J. being a host of Free Talk Live here on Free Talk Live for uh, for many years. Yep. Um, They're working on something behind the scenes. I I wasn't told I could talk about it. I I didn't ask whether I couldn't talk about it, so I'm just going to play it safe and not say what I saw this week. But let's just say they got their start with helping real life businesses accept cryptocurrency. Okay. And if you now have an online business that would like to accept cryptocurrency, you want to keep your eye on helpmetakebitcoin.com and maybe go ahead and sign up for an account now um, because there's some pretty exciting developments going on there. That's interesting. Yeah. We do a fair amount of, uh, of online business too. And, and it would be good not to pay the fees that a lot of the payment processor charge you when you accept That's right. cryptocurrencies. Um, so that's good news. I'm anxious to see what's going on. It's not on. news yet. It's just a tease. Well, it's we'll a see. it's it's a good tease. I'll, I'll it say has this. me intrigued. I'm going to try to get testing. this out of Ian. They, they had me testing something the other night about this with them. So I've, see, I hate I've when people just action. dance around. <laughs> I know we're on. Okay, everyone listening, if you could just you know put your hands over your ears for just a moment while I pump Ian for this information. <laughs> Uh, we have I think been I've given up enough, during a station break. I think I've given it. enough information. That's all right. Um, we have been talking about silver. This is one of those things that a lot of people still invest in. I like uh, precious metals. I do too. A I lot. You too. know, we get a lot of buzz about cryptocurrency because it's a new thing and everybody's anxious. But but it's hard to argue with a thousand year, two thousand year plus record mm-hmm. like gold and silver. Mm-hmm. Gold and silver have always maintained their value. 
Here's a news flash. Yeah. An ounce of gold today is worth uh, an ounce of gold. And it was worth an ounce of gold uh, 100 years ago. And that's because gold in and of itself has value, uh, not mm. just because of money, but also people, it has utility. People can do other things with it. So mm. gold and silver are always in demand. Now, I don't want to go and sound Nothing like Nothing beats gold on a century-long scale. No, and uh, it's just one of those things. And inventions like modern inventions, like Bitcoin, were built to sort of mimic the qualities of precious metals. That right. was a goal, was to, you know, can we create something that can't infinite, that is going to be difficult to create more of with Bitcoin? It's the, you know, the mining process that many cryptocurrencies use, proof of work coins. Um, so they are trying to mimic sort of what precious metals do. And a lot of people are into it. And I, I know from, my business, I've met a lot of silver bugs, guys that are really into silver, and they have been depressed for years because the price just did not seem to follow bad economic news. When mm. eco economic bad news comes out, you should expect you know hard money to rise in value, yet silver was just, it never moved. Mm -hmm. It was like 15 bucks and change for years it didn't it change. It shot up for a little while. It, at its high it point, down. it went got well, up to yeah, thirty five dollars. But instead right. of continuing that trajectory, why hmm. did it just stop? Well, well, I mean, big part of the reason was they was they temporarily deflated the uh, the currency market a little bit when basically all the value that was lost by. Uh, during the during the housing cra uh, crash, combined with a rest restoration of false confidence once it was resolved, or they said it was resolved. So that's part of the story. The other part of the story is big banks. And big banks, you know, they control a lot more than just loans. That's part of what they do. In this case, this story was about J.P. Morgan's metal desk, uh, that's where they talked about, and the U.S. government has charged them as a criminal enterprise. They are filing charges against J.P. Morgan under RICO. Now, we haven't located uh, if J.P. Morgan has been charged under RICO statutes, and that's that's the Racketeer, uh, Racketeer Influenced and Corruptions or Corrupt Organizations Act, and that is a law that's most commonly associated with organized crime. We're charging you under RICO. That's what it was meant to do, and that mean, means you can charge anybody involved in the enterprise. You don't have to just go for the top dog. One of the interesting things about hmm. this story, I mean, besides the intrigue of just overall what's been going on, is I've actually got the Justice Department's uh, news release about this here because we were wondering, Great. we were wondering aloud, like, okay, well, what are they actually accusing they do? these people yeah. of? And uh, there are three individuals, Greg Smith, Michael Nowak, and Christopher Jordan. They're all uh, 40s and 50s uh, men in New York or New Jersey. And the interesting thing here is the Justice Department release actually protects J.P. Morgan. <laughs> they refer to J.P. Morgan here as Bank A. Oh, my. Like, that, that's poor so they're bankers. treating him as a victim. <laughs> maybe, maybe, or at the very least, they are certainly excluding them from their, their press release for some reason. Um, wow. And hmm. so do you want to hear a little bit from this indictment? Oh, I yeah. do. Um, yeah. I'm not going to read the whole thing. There, you know, There's the first paragraphs are just sort of generally about the three men who being char are being charged and uh, you know the tough talk from the prosecutors about the complex scheme and trading precious metals that would negatively affect the natural balance of supply and demand, claims uh, FBI assistant director in charge William F. Sweeney Jr. out of the FBI's New York field office, skipping down a little bit in the indictment. So again, there's you know, probably some multi-page indictment here that they're going to summarize for us. Uh, between approximately May of 2008 and August of 2016, the defendants and their co-conspirators were members of Bank A, J.P. Morgan, Global Precious Metals Trading Desk in New York, London, and Singapore, with varying degrees of seniority and supervisory responsibility over others on the desk. 
as it relates to the RICO conspiracy, the defendants and their co-conspirators were allegedly members of an enterprise, namely the Precious Metals Desk at Bank A, and conducted the affairs of the desk through a pattern of racketeering activity, specifically wire fraud, affecting a financial institution and bank fraud. The indictment alleges the defendants engaged in widespread spoofing, market manipulation, and fraud while working on the precious metals desk at Bank A through the placement of orders that they intended to cancel before they would be ex uh, executed, which they call deceptive orders. Sure. Uh, in an effort to create liquidity and drive prices toward orders that they wanted to execute on the opposite side of of the market. So they're sort of playing both sides of uh, buying and selling. Well, yeah. they're putting in fake. Uh, one example would be putting in a bunch of fake buys mm -hmm. to make it look like there's, there's more pent demand. up demand than mm -hmm. there is because you want to clear a sell. Mm. Okay. So you want somebody to be more well to be willing to pay more for yours so you make it look like there's a big surge in demand for uh, for gold or, gold or silver, and they're more likely to say, oh, well, demand's coming up. I'd better take this price now. And they can also do this without any buys and sells. What they can do, and this is this well, is so the BS that's, that's Wall Street. All they orders can in, are buys or sells. Well, no, what they can do but is the, they can but inflate the price. if the, the order price. never executes... You're then talking about actual it. buys. What I'm talking about are derivatives and things where you don't actually buy anything. And what you're doing on Wall Street is just gambling. Well, I'm we're gonna, talking about f futures contracts here is right, what they we're dealing with. Right, and that right. I'm going to bet that that price is going to go down because I'm making it happen. 855 450 free. What do you think? This is Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live is now on more than 200 radio stations nationwide. We've had more than 18 million podcast downloads, and we claim millions of listens a month. We're a multimedia ad venue with print, email, web, and terrestrial radio marketing platforms. We strive to have ad packages that cater to advertisers big and small. Contact me today at MarketFreeTalkLive.com to see what we can do for you. MarketFreeTalkLive.com. If you're a local advertiser, contact this station. But if you can service a national audience, contact me, MarketFreeTalkLive.com. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Pick up two bottles of Liquor Chops, get the third bottle free. New improved Liquor Chops with omega-6, omega-3, vitamin E, and now six extra direct-fed microbials. Even better for the digestive tract and immune system. And dogs love it. Try Liquor Chops. Buy two, get one free. This is Henry Lukasiewicz for Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. I can definitely say that I have found the best cryptocurrency wallet. Certainly the best named one. I'm Mark Edge, and I love the Edge wallet. I've been using it for the last few months. You can buy, sell, trade, and hold your cryptocurrency securely. I trust my holdings of all the major cryptocurrencies to Edge wallet, and you should too. No long phrases to memorize, just a username and password. Secure your freedom with Edge wallet. Get it now on Apple or Android in the App Store or at edge.app. Free Talk Live is now on more than 200 radio stations nationwide. We've had more than 18 million podcast downloads, and we claim millions of listens a month. We're a multimedia ad venue with print, email, web, and terrestrial radio marketing platforms. We strive to have ad packages that cater to advertisers big and small. Contact me today at MarketFreeTalkLive.com to see what we can do for you. MarketFreeTalkLive.com. If you're a local advertiser, contact this station. But if you can service a national audience, contact me, MarketFreeTalkLive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, connect with others via the forum at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com.
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Bitcoin.com has launched a trading platform at local.bitcoin.com, allowing you to buy or sell Bitcoin cash via dozens of payment methods like PayPal, Venmo, bank deposit, remittances, or meeting in person with cash. There are no ID requirements to sign up for and use the site, and all communications between buyers and sellers are encrypted. Finally, a global trading platform that respects your privacy. Visit local.bitcoin.com to get started trading Bitcoin cash. Local.bitcoin.com You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, 855-453. That is our toll-free number. 855-450-3733. That's the number to call to get on the air and talk about whatever you like. This is Open Phones Radio. You don't have to talk about what we're talking about. You can bring up whatever you like. But right now, we are talking about J.P. Morgan being charged in yet another case. J.P. Morgan wasn't charged. Three of let's, his, let's, three let's, traders who worked for J.P. Morgan were charged. Thank you. You boys are so literal and you're so accurate. I just think they're well, a bunch of crooks. Well, important journalism. <laughs> I think they're a bunch of crooks. They well, I, I, I think they're a bunch of crooks too, but... But, you know, they only charged who they charged. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, this website, and it is called, let me see, I'll get you the name of the website, but basically it tracks when big companies get fined for millions of dollars. It's the violation tracker parent company summary. That's the spreadsheet I'm looking at. And I am looking at J.P. Morgan Chase and Company, and oh, here's a big one. It's three hundred and five million dollars for uh, consumer protection when violations. When was this? Does it give you when? Oh, sure. I got it sorted Eight. by year. That goes back to two thousand. But okay. you know, during this period uh, when this stuff was supposed to be going on, there are numerous cases of people at. J, well, J.P. Morgan Chase being fined for price fixing. So while they're paying fines for price fixing, evidently, unbeknownst to anyone at J.P. Morgan, uh, they were fixing prices in the silver market. They were doing things. They were manipulating prices. Deceptive and- orders is what yeah. they allege uh, here in the summary of the indictment from justice.gov. Do you want me to share you more with more? No, please. Uh, In thousands of sequences, according to the uh, indictment, the defendants and their co-conspirators allegedly placed deceptive orders for gold, silver, platinum, and palladium futures contracts traded on the New York Mercantile Exchange, NYMEX, and Commodity Exchange Incorporated, COMEX, which are commodity exchanges operated by CME Group Incorporated. By placing deceptive orders, the defendants and their co-conspirators allegedly intended to inject false and misleading information about the genuine supply and demand for precious metals futures contracts into markets and to deceive other participants in those markets into believing something untrue, namely that the visible order book accurately reflected market-based forces of supply and demand. Uh, The false and misleading information was intended to, and at times did, trick other market participants into reacting to the apparent change and imbalance in supply and demand by buying and selling precious metals futures contracts at quantities, prices, and times that they otherwise likely would not have traded, according to the indictment. And also alleged the defendants and their co-conspirators defrauded Bank A's clients. So again, you're right. They are treating uh, J.P. Morgan as the victim Mm -hmm. uh, in this case defrauding their clients who had bought or sold, quote, barrier options, unquote, by trading precious metals futures contracts in a manner 
that attempted to push the price towards a price level at which the bank would make money on the option, which is called barrier running, or away from a price level at which the bank would lose money on the option, or, or called barrier defending. Namely, when barrier running, the defendants and their co-conspirators would, would allegedly place orders for precious metals futures contracts in a way that was intended to deliberately trigger the barrier option held by the bank. Conversely, when barrier defending, the ba uh, defendants and their co-conspirators would place orders for precious metals, metals futures contracts in a way that was intended to deliberately avoid triggering the barrier option held by the clients of the bank. Oh, so they were using, it sounds like they, they knew what the software was doing, and mm. so they were gaming the software. Because they were on the inside. Now, right. hold on. This is just J.P. Morgan, so you got a bad apple. Uh, that's or obvious. Three or well, yeah. and from another story, the practice began before J.P. Morgan's May 2008 purchase of Bear Stearns and grew even larger after that acquisition, the U.S. said. Mm -hmm. Jordan had also engaged in manipulation with Credit Suisse Group AG for about six months in 2010. Prosecutors said Credit Suisse declined to comment. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, J Christopher Jordan, who's the third person indicted. Uh, he had worked at Chase, according to this, in 2009 or until 2009 in December. Then he moved to Bank C, a Swiss bank, which is the one you just Credit Suisse. Uh, you just mentioned. And which is like the Swiss bank, right? And then from uh, he left the Swiss bank after August of 2010, then moved to a precious met or trading precious metals futures contracts as an employee of a financial service company, also known as Company D. So we don't know which one that was, but wherever he went after the Swiss bank was also uh, involved here. The indictment also identifies two former uh, JP precious metals traders as being among the defendant's co-conspirators. Uh, and then they talk a little bit more about their their history. So there you go. Okay. So we let me understand this. Uh, we have a precious metals trading desk at one of the U.S.'s largest banks, and nobody at the bank knows what they're doing. They act. They they were completely. You know, they they hid every evidence of what they were doing from everybody except for the Department of Justice for. 10 years and nobody noticed does that strike you as plausible yes yes absolutely i've uh, having worked for uh for uh, automated trading bank. desk uh and uh in the software department big bank yeah they're the things they do in there would curl your toes there are there are places where you can telnet into a port uh and just type in an order for a million dollar transfer and it'll go through um and all you have to do to do that is be behind their firewall the only protection they have is oh Jesus. well people can't get to this subnet see now i'm gonna call it's crazy talk i'm gonna call no not towards you but bs on this whole idea that just these three guys that the department of justice found out about are the only ones that were involved at jp morgan I think that this probably goes much higher. And I don't think that's a stretch to say that perhaps the guy who's in charge of commodities desk just chose to look the other way because, hey, that silver desk is just blowing up and they're making us all look good. I think a lot more people had some idea it's, there was something wrong. I don't think it takes possible, a DOJ. But the thing is, if they were looking to to trick triggers on pro program trading that's going on in their own bank, they're not making that bank look good. They're making that bank do stupid things. So it's it's making them richer and making the bank poorer, if I understand the, the scam properly. That's what it sounded like. Uh, yeah. Were they operating out of, out of personal accounts? Does it doesn't does say. It say? I think they had to be, because if, they, if J.P. Morgan was getting the money, then J.P. Morgan should have been charged. Mm -hmm. and but we because don't. you're only going to do this for your employer if your employer told you to. Otherwise, right. you have no motive. Now, I think it's going to be interesting because RICO cases, they always start with a guy. They flip one guy. We're going to charge this guy. Are it there going to be grow more charges? More. They I, could know all kinds of things. I would hope it does. And I don't say that because I don't like J.P. Morgan, but I don't think... Wall Street has your interests at heart. I think it wants to make money off of you, not for you. 850 free, 855 450 3733. This is Free Talk Live. 
Do you have a crypto wealth advisor or coach? If so, has your cryptocurrency advisor been investing in technology stocks for over 20 years? Have they left the corporate world and retired? Or are they still trying to make a weekly paycheck? Have they produced six-figure results for their customers in the past 30 days? And very importantly, are they a member of the Digital Currency Council? Seth Maniscalco is the founder of Crypto Wealth Coach and CryptoWealthCoach.com. Seth invested in his first Roth IRA at 19 years old while living abroad and has been investing in Wall Street and technology for over 20 years with experience in all the money markets. By comparison, so many of these so-called crypto gurus have barely been alive for 20 years. Seth has not only experienced personal success from his own investments in crypto, he has also helped his clients earn six and seven figure incomes, including helping investors make over three quarters of a million dollars in EOS in 90 days and 1,225% in only five and a half months with Chainlink. Seth has helped for the small do-it-yourself guy on up to crypto whales. Increase your wealth. Visit CryptoWealthCoach.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is it's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas there's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty there's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it but here in new hampshire people are doing it 101 reasons liberty lives in new hampshire a documentary by free state project early movers watch it free at 101 reasonsfilm.com 101 reasonsfilm.com I'm crazy about My Magic Mud. This is the most important oral care product created this millennium, and I'm not kidding. We all have different opinions on politics and issues, but we all have mouths. And I want yours to be as clean as possible, with teeth as bright as they were meant to be. I will never be without My Magic Mud. It's a little surprising, but man, does it work. If you only listen to one thing I say ever, go to MyMagicMud.com and get 20% off with code FTL. MyMagicMud.com, code FTL. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com to receive our usually weekly news updates by email. Plus, we have a Twitter account at twitter.freetalklive.com, and you can follow us on the decentralized Mastodon platform at toot.freetalklive.com. So please follow us at toot.freetalklive.com and sign up for our emails at news.freetalklive.com. If you're looking for work, there's a piece of paper more important than your resume. It's the cover letter attached if you're snail mailing or the email to which you attach your resume. Make it four short paragraphs. Paragraph one, say that you're applying for work. The person you're sending to gets a ton of mail about all sorts of things. If you have a password, that's your first sentence. Tom Nelson tells me you and I should meet. Paragraph 2, what you do and how that relates to the opening. Be as specific as possible. Paragraph 3, why you want this particular job. I'm originally from Boston, so I know the market well. I have family and friends in the area, so this would be a homecoming for me. Paragraph 4, unless the job posting stipulates no calls, and I will call you to follow up. Thank you in advance for your time. From Survival speech.com i'm holland cook do you love twitter make sure you favorite the lrn.fm twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm that's twitter.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's our toll-free number, 855-450-3733. In studio, it's myself, Chris. I'm Ian. And I'm nobody. And we have been talking about J.P. Morgan, one of those old bastions of Wall Street. I mean, they've been a, around for an awfully long time. You know, J.P. Morgan was big in the 20s. In the roaring 20s, big during the Depression, big helping us go to war and and helping 
England make sure it had enough money to fight the Germans in World War I. They were a primary uh, facilitator of England getting the funds and working with Woodrow Wilson, making sure that the U.S. Uh, would remain friendly towards England. And then guess what happened? The, they sank the dang Lusitania, a ship traveling from America to England that was supposed to be just passengers. And it turns out there was a whole bunch of explosives, too, that allegedly got hit by a U-boat. And ele- that ended up kind of dragging us into the war. You know, yeah, these because things there happened. were some Americans on board. That was there the were, excuse. There were Americans. Now, even so though World the Germans, War One was a war fought for the right of Americans to travel on belligerently flagged ships through a war zone, hauling munitions <laughs> with impunity. <laughs> yes, that's our right. Can uh, you believe that? Yeah, we can't um, even smoke weed. <laughs> what J.P. Morgan realized was that you can make a lot of money funding wars, and it's even better if you can mani- manipulate the wall uh, war. And yeah, exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. They were also involved in helping the Germans survive this blockade that was going on, put in place by the British, where they couldn't get anything in. They couldn't get food for their people. Um, mm-hmm. So they were helping them with that, and they were trying to drag America into it. And America did indeed get into World War One. And isn't wasn't that the beginning of the U-boat strategy? Was their desire, or their need to to break the British blockade? I don't know if that was the primary reason. It was a okay. new technology, and they found that it was very useful uh, mm-hmm. in that circumstance. So yeah, possibly. Um, but what we're talking about is J.P. Morgan today, and J.P. Morgan today they had three people on their precious metals desk that were manipulating the prices of silver in this case specifically silver now jp morgan has been fined many many times by the department of justice by you know fincen by all sorts of the consumer finance advisory board or whatever the heck it is and Um, and that doesn't make it clear to people out there that government fines are not a deterrent um, it should, because yeah. you're talking about tremendous amounts of money that these people have been fined, and yet they continue to receive more and more fines because their behavior hasn't actually changed. Let's, yeah, well, let's fines are generally de- designed as a as as a disincentive, but they're not generally designed to complete completely put a stop to something. In The Wealth of Nations, Adam Smith talks about the smuggling trade back in the day and back then they didn't put you in prison for smuggling they just they just find you so and they so they're cut I, exactly right. so adam smith said well it's effectively a tariff for mm-hmm. economic purposes let's see 20 <laughs> right, you, 2013 uh jp morgan chase fine for uh toxic securities abuses this has to do with the securities that came out of the housing crash they're fine Thirteen billion dollars. Now you're I'm, talking about a company that's probably worth trillions, right? Like, uh, mm-hmm. if not hundreds of billions. I mean, uh, yeah, I've I've just been flipping back and forth between this story and J.P. Morgan's stock price, and yeah, there was a blip, you know, but you know, it wasn't like you you put the bank out of business or anything like that. Or revenue in 2018, according to Google, is 109 billion dollars. I could get by on that. Did That's they just find, revenue. Did they find the bank, though, on on this? Or you're saying they find them many times for other things? Many times for other things. This okay. is a fine that is being assessed against these guys, but the case will not be done. But it's yet. against them, not the bank? In the this, fine is so in far, this as far as okay. we know, we don't know. Yeah, they could unearth more. Sure, but for now, it looks like J.P. Morgan was getting ripped off. So, put on one hand, it makes them look foolish, which should hurt their stock price. But on the other end, one would anticipate that if your employees have been ripping you off, and then they stop, you're going to become more profitable. Right, and when they charge the head of J.P. Morgan's Global Precious Commodities. Uh, trading operation and two others you're you're knocking on the door of some pretty important people at jp morgan oh yeah that's and deep. it's going to be up to jp morgan to say 
hey, it's just those guys. It wasn't any of us. We didn't know. We're going to go to the phones where we've got Olivia calling from Arizona. Olivia, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Hey, how are um, you? Hey. You're on the air. Doing great. How about y'all? Good. Go Life ahead with these guys. Um, it's funny y'all are just talking about the science because that's why I called. But right before that, just for fun, I kind of wanted to know what y'all's zodiac signs were. Really? <laughs> Really? <laughs> Sagittarius, most philosophical of all the signs, as Jim Morrison said. <laughs> I'm Aquarius, and I don't believe that means anything, but yeah. I'm you're free well, to. Well, you're showing your age. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry. <laughs> Leo. Leo. Yeah. Wait, who's a Leo? Is uh, that nobody? Ian. Ian. Now, nobody's oh, Sagittarius. What do you think that means? Um, you know, I've just noticed it. it helps you notice people's personality quirks. I don't know why it works, but it does. I mean, you could take the Myers Briggs and tell me your four letters too. That's cool. <laughs> well, hmm. um, so, what does but, that say about three people? Well, what's typical of a Aquarius, a Sagittarius, and a Leo? Um, Aquariuses tend to be really analytical and very principled, um, but they're always out for a, a good time too. They just they like to experience things. In my in my experience. Um, hmm. Leos tend to like the spotlight. They like to nope. accomplish things. <laughs> Don't um, like the spotlight. <laughs> well, you are in radio. He though. says on I national like radio. Yeah, exactly. I don't like it. <laughs> on the national Doesn't, radio. Well, program I mean, I'm started. not on television. Oh, oh, well then. Oh, that's true. He likes the microphone. <laughs> is that is that close enough uh, uh, as a metaphor, though? Okay. Well, we'll just leave it. The Traditionally, Leos would like attention. Okay, and Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittariuses are usually kind of flighty, and they like they like adventure and a good time. Now, which one they was the which? I don't remember who. Well, was the what. shoe fits. Sagittarius. I'm flighty and like gotcha. adventure. <laughs> Aquarius. Really? I can't call you a liar. <laughs> <laughs> So well, you, most of the time with these things, they uh, you know they say something about somebody, and it's usually true about almost everybody at some level. Whatever things are being said, and people focus more about what was uh, correct than the things that were uh, were incorrect. Oh, you're just trying to hog all the connection uh, attention, Ian, because we know that's what Leos do. You know, nobody can. That's get why a I'm word sitting in. on the third seat on the show. Nobody can get a word in edgewise. Okay, so you wanted to talk about banks. Oh, a real topic. Oh, right. well, I just wanted to mention the fine thing. So, gotcha. The, here's what gets me about fines, right? The money doesn't go to anybody in particular. It doesn't go to help somebody. If the bank was It doesn't go to, to nobody. Somebody, <laughs> <laughs> it goes to the government, goons. It goes exactly. to their uh, bureaucracy's budget. It, it makes it so they can buy more toys and hire more goons. And ruin more lives. So in this story, you know, this is definitely not going to the guy who paid too much for silver. Or no, you know, no, because you know, he got ripped if, off because of this this activity. Go if ahead. The, if the banks had to forgive somebody, a bunch of people like home mortgages or or, or their government backed um, college loans, I would be really excited about this. But instead, I know what's going to happen. It's going to go back to the government, and the government's going to prop up the bank or you know, back loans or whatever. I mean, like, what's the point? I agree. Hey, thanks for your call, Olivia. Well, if it's That's Rico... That's why they, I got out of banking. If it's Rico, they may face jail time on this. Yeah. It may not just be a fine when all all said and done. By the way, J.P. Morgan has a total assets of $2.73 trillion. Eight fifty five four fifty free. This is Free Talk Live. That's like... Let me ask you something. What are you doing when you put money in a 401k or IRA or store jumper cables in your vehicle or purchase health insurance? You're preparing. You're preparing to ensure you have enough money for retirement. You're preparing for when your car battery dies or to have assistance paying a major unexpected medical bill. That all makes sense. The same goes for building a food storage plan. You're preparing for when emergencies or disasters strike and shelves go empty at your grocery store. The best way to prepare is with My Patriot Supply. They've helped a million hardworking Americans become more self-sufficient. My Patriot Supply sells hundreds of items, including dozens of emergency food kits at MyPatriotSupply.com. It could be an earthquake, a cyber attack freezing our banking system, 
or a disaster that shuts down our power grid for weeks. For all these emergencies and more, get your supplies and prepare today at MyPatriotSupply.com. No more rushing to find empty store shelves because you're too late. Do it now so you're ready. MyPatriotSupply.com. Would you like to get back that full head of hair from years past? Introducing Reveal from GCNLife.com. Beverly Hills dermatologist Dr. Nathan Newman invented Reveal, which contains polypeptides with natural botanicals and no parabens, sulfates, silicones, or dyes for a salon-quality hair growth product, Reveal. Here's Dr. Newman. I have treated a lot of patients who lose their hair and they lose their confidence. We've created a unique set of polypeptides, which we call HPT6. The HPT6 contains the polypeptides from six different plants. The scalp infusion treatment should be used on wet or dry scalp. The Reveal Hair Care System is designed to be used for men and women alike. Get Reveal at GCNLife.com with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So try Reveal today at GCNLife.com or 844-443-6637. Plus a discount up to 25% off for Reveal at GCNLife.com or 844-443-6637. Free Talk Live. This was the quote from the DEA's paperwork. Only products that were primarily intended or designed for use in injecting, ingesting, inhaling, or otherwise introducing marijuana and injecting other controlled substances marijuana? into the, the human body. Injects marijuana. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how out of touch these people are. They're trying to make it look like marijuana users are strung injecting out things. heroin junkies. <laughs> right. And it's just not true. No. Look, if you were to ever even try to <laughs> put plant material in a syringe and inject that into your veins. It's going to go poorly for it's you. It's going to work <laughs> once. <laughs> You're going to get high one last time if you even <laughs> if you even make it to that point. Yeah. That's I mean, <laughs> not a good idea. Never in the history of marijuana consumption has anyone ever injected it into their veins. Yeah. Kids don't try that at home. Free Talk Live. Seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. There are lots of ways to listen to Free Talk Live. Our podcast has been around since podcasts began, and now the FTL feed is loaded with content besides our full show archives. Did you know that we make it easy for you to customize your podcast subscriptions? We have different feeds, one that includes only our full shows, one with just the Daily Digest, and one with just the Edgington Post. You decide what you listen to. It's quick and easy to customize your feeds at feeds.freetalklive.com. That's feeds.freetalklive.com. There are basically two types of advertising, direct response and branding. Radio's great for direct response with its low cost to listener ratio, but audio can't be beat for branding, which is a longer term endeavor. You want to be the first thing that someone thinks of when they think about your product or service. If you have a local business that you want kept top of mind in your community, call the station. If you need national reach, Free Talk Live's got around 200 radio stations, millions of monthly listening sessions, can suit all budgets, and if we don't think we're right for you, we'll tell you. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That is our toll-free number. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. That's the number you call to get on the radio to talk about what you want to talk about. We've been talking about big banks, one of the biggest, J.P. Morgan, getting hit with a couple employees, at least three so far, have been charged by the Department of Justice under RICO statutes. That means they're being charged as a criminal enterprise, and that's kind of newsworthy. Um, but first I want to tell you about local.bitcoin.com. Bitcoin.com has launched a trading platform at local.bitcoin.com, allowing you to buy and sell Bitcoin cash via dozens of payment methods like PayPal, Venmo, bank deposit, remittances, or just meeting in person with cash. You can do that here too. There are no ID requirements to sign up for and use the site, and all communications between buyers and sellers are encrypted. That's important. Finally, a global trading platform that respects your privacy. Visit local.bitcoin.com to get started trading Bitcoin Cash. That's local. 
Bitcoin.com. So uh, they've been talking about a lot of stuff over at Bitcoin.com. I, I heard, read an article that they are looking at a futures market for Bitcoin Cash, too. I don't know anything about that. I don't know. I'm not an investor type, so like when people start talking about these things, my eyes glaze over. I don't. I couldn't even tell you what a future is. Some sort of bet on how something's going to do in the future or whatever. But well, Ian it, is not exaggerating. I was future, talking to him, and his eyes literally yeah. glazed as yeah. I said that. A future is a contract to buy a commodity at a time at a price. Mm. So you say in the future, yeah, I I want to buy this at this price a month hence, um, and basically, um, well, okay, most basic use for a future would be say in agriculture, a far a farmer might need to borrow money to buy seed. So what he does is he sells wheat for future delivery on the commodities exchange and he gets obviously less money than that than that wheat will actually be worth at that time but he takes the money that he gets for his future he buys the seeds he buys he grows the wheat Mm -hmm. and then he delivers the wheat uh, satisfying the contract Mm -hmm. um and so uh that gets used um in order to kind of the futures market as a whole tends to level out the price throughout the year so it doesn't suddenly get really cheap to buy bread in the fall and then you can't afford bread um, in in the spring. Now, what, Rich, uh, what nobody is describing here is an honest, functioning futures market. Which, which isn't is, what we have. Which is not what we had, and it's certainly not what we had at J.P. Morgan Chase's Precious Metals desk. There was manipulation of price so they could make money. If it went up, they could make money. If it went down, they could make money because they could ex- execute uh, futures contracts based on prices that were not really what the products were being valued by the market at. They were manipulating the price up or down by mm. placing orders, but yet not allowing them to complete or not honoring the completion. They were manipulating it through mm. buys and sells. And that's the part that I think really bums people out about big banks and Wall Street. You see a story, you see a story about involving some people at JP Morgan Chase. And as we talked about, you know, we we pulled up a list and JP Morgan Chase is routinely penalized hundreds of thousands of dollars, routinely penalized by the government millions of dollars, and on not just one or two occasions, but on at least six or seven occasions, penalized billions of dollars for the illegal activities that they were caught doing. Now, this is J.P. Morgan. Mm -hmm. This doesn't say an employee who was there who was, this is J.P. Morgan. Okay, so are they charging J.P. Morgan or not well, in this thing? At it this seems point, like we're going back and not. forth. Right. They're not charged criminally. Are no. they being fined for this incident? I know they have been fined. That's well, this clear. this story broke all of yesterday. Okay. And I don't think... So we may not know yet how this is going to shake out. Right. We could look at the list of They may still fines. be investigating. Right. You know? and, and judging by this list, like, I mean, when you've got... This many fines going against one Wall Street bank from the Department of Justice, from these other government organizations, it seems like they must have people at the Department of Justice who do nothing but investigate J.P. Morgan Chase. Because every couple years they're coming out with a billion dollar plus fine. How do you throw a billion dollar plus fine if you haven't been looking at them? Like I honestly well, believe I mean, that regulators they, are constantly and and interactively monitoring uh, these big banks. Sure, they but can do come they... in and look at the bank, look at the books anytime they want to, and they frequently do. I get it, but I I'm mean, saying whether they do anything but demand bribes afterward is anybody's <laughs> guess. But um... <laughs> but you're you're one guy, and you're in charge of you know these fines that go up. 
you probably don't have time to focus on J.P. Morgan Chase and focus on Wells Fargo and focus on Bank America. You know what oh, I mean? Oh no, there's probably uh, for for the big banks there are probably there's probably a team of regulators who do nothing but but know the books of that particular bank and the activities of that particular bank. And just like there is a precious metals desk at J.P. Morgan Chase. A bunch of guys whose job is to do nothing but look at the precious metals market. I guarantee you there is a group of regulators that have... Yeah, there's a J.P. Morgan Morgan desk. Right, exactly. And a couple of different regulatory agencies. I don't doubt And one for Citibank and and one for each of the others. And sometimes it's... I mean, it's not like you're being investigated for drug trafficking, though. Sometimes the regulators... Well, they did get I mean, they know the people who are investigating them sometimes. What? Wasn't it a J.P. Morgan uh, chase that... uh, It was a, a chip that got seized... It was one owned by the bank, and it was seized right. with some immense amount of cocaine. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and that was like it was kind of like, well, they finally got J.P. Morgan Chase for actual smuggling. Uh, they hadn't been charged with that one lately. See, that's not their mo. I would be surprised if if that was something that the corporation was doing. The thing is, it if you're like a big corporation, potatoes. not only are you doing funky things. But you'll have a certain set of your employees that are trying to hijack your stuff and do funky things with them, with it, without being caught by the police or by the bank. Right. So, you know, I guarantee that some of these foreclosed homes have people living in them or, you know, bank employees that are periodically selling them, even though they don't, right. you know, and, and all kinds of little scams around the edges. And that's the part, I think, that scares a lot of people. A lot of people listening right now may have their mortgage through J.P. Morgan Chase. You know? Well, and if your mortgage company goes away, it's not bad. It just means that you don't have to pay them. <laughs> right. Or, you, or it means you end up paying whoever gets your mortgage in bankruptcy. Or that this type of, or, or some malfeasance occurs that does impact you. Uh, I, I don't have a lot of trust for Wall Street banks. I, oh, nor do I. Don't, I. I don't mean to ge- generalize and say you know they're a bunch of uh, uh, thieves and crooks, but I'll just say that they are all a bunch of thieves and crooks. <laughs> um, um, I, I I cannot disagree. And they're in collusion, and that's the part that upsets me the most. Well, they they're part of the Federal Reserve, basically. They, they are, mm. and they can't do these sorts of illegal activities without. Paying off the regulators, you know, we we see this story and we see a number and we haven't really seen that many details, but they'll come out. Um, and J.P. Morgan is going to pay, you know, maybe a billion dollar fine. Mm-hmm. But to them, that's a cost of doing business. That's just the price that you got to pay to do this stuff. It's only uh, it's less than one percent of their annual revenue. One, one billion. Less than one percent. And I remember mm-hmm. when some fines were levied against uh, Wells Fargo, it was. Whatever the amount was, and I can't remember what it was, but it was staggering. But it was basically like uh, three weeks, you know, give, give give up profits for three weeks, and that's it. We're good. We're covered. Mm-hmm. You know, and now we go back to uh, making. I mean, mm-hmm. well, of course, the other reason, and I'm I'm kind of playing devil's advocate here, but the other reason that the uh, that the operation that the fine is going to be very small compared to the overall size of the bill business is this is a business that has whole departments of people each and every one of whom is doing something completely different so this little scam that was going on was also a very tiny part of what jp morgan does oh, there might be bigger crimes still 855 450 free this is free talk live Balance of nature, changing the world one life at a time. You know, I heard your commercials for a long time, and I kept thinking, yeah, yeah, I'll look into that, and I just never did. And finally, I gave you guys a call and started. Well, I did tell the doctor when he asked me what I was doing. I said, have you heard of balance of nature? And he says, yeah, he actually had taken it at one time. I said, well, I'm doing that, and I feel great. You know, I think it's helping in everything. And he says, well, good, good. He says, I should start that up again. (laughs) 
I, I'm, I'm just happy, and I'm going to stick with it. Experience the balance of nature difference for yourself. Receive 25% off your first preferred purchase of Balance of Nature. Plus, get a set of convenient travel bottles containing a free additional week's supply of Balance of Nature's fruits and veggies. With these discounts, you will still receive free shipping on every order. Call 800 800- Two four six eight seven five one, or go to balanceofnature dot com and use discount code Free Talk Live. What do you shop for that you could otherwise buy at Amazon? Pretty much everything, right? Amazon has competitive pricing and they deliver, and that's a big plus. If you could plan ahead in your shopping, would you be interested in saving up to thirty three percent? There's a catch: you have to do your shopping in Bitcoin. But imagine those savings; it's like a huge raise. All you have to do is go to saveitpurse.com. We've saved thousands, and you can too. Plan ahead and save. Saveitpurse.com. LRN.FM now has a Discord. Discord is a free text and voice chat platform, and we now have our own server with a bunch of channels at discord.lrn.fm. You can join other listeners as they chat about various things during our live shows, or anytime, day or night. Discord software is available cross-platform, so you can have it on whatever device you want and take your chats anywhere. Join our Discord at discord.lrn.fm. That's discord.lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Produced in partnership with SNLS News and listeners like you. Online at LibertyBeat.News and SNLS.News. I'm Mick Murrow with your latest edition of the Liberty Beat. Gold is trading at $1,491, silver at $17.71, and Bitcoin is trading around $10,161. Today's prices are brought to you by InnoScale. Take off with Managed Cloud. Looking for a safe, secure way to store your important files online? Let InnoScale handle it for you. Their high availability cloud servers are the perfect solution for clients needing one or more secure scalable servers with built-in hardware failover protection. For details, see them online at InnoScale.net. In the news, the U.S. Navy has officially acknowledged that video footage purportedly showing UFOs flying through the skies are, indeed, actual unknown objects that flew into U.S. airspace. The Mind Unleashed reports that while officials admit they are largely baffled by the unknown flying objects, they also admit that encounters with them have been quite frequent, and they also don't want us to call them UFOs. Instead, the preferred terminology is Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAPs. The three clips of footage taken by Navy pilots were originally released in 2017 and 2018 by To The Stars Academy of Arts and Sciences, a UFO research organization founded by former Blink-182 frontman, Tom DeLaunch. The three videos have been dubbed FLIR-1, Gimbal, and Go Fast. At the time of their release, TTS called the videos the first official evidence released by the U.S. government that can be rightfully designated as credible, authentic confirmation that unidentified aerial phenomena are real. The Liberty Bee is sponsored in part by Brave Botanicals, high-quality kratom and CBD at reasonable prices with excellent customer service. Brave Botanicals is activist-owned and mission-driven and believes so strongly in the power of Kratom, they're giving it away for free. Just go to FreeOunceOfKratom.com for a free ounce of Kratom delivered to your door. Just pay shipping. That's FreeOunceOfKratom.com. This is the latest edition of the Liberty Beat. Find us online at LibertyBeat.News and SNLS.News. Your news now continues. A massage therapist who was in the midst of a sexual assault lawsuit against disgraced actor Kevin Spacey, has died, according to his attorneys. The Mind Unleashed reports the alleged victim decided to file the suit under the condition of anonymity, considering how public the story was and how private the details involved were. As a result, his name has not yet been released to the public. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the anonymous massage therapist was recognized as John Doe in court documents and was represented by attorney Jeannie Harrison. Spacey was reportedly accused of battery, assault, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment in court documents. According to the lawsuit, the massage therapist visited a residence for a scheduled appointment with Spacey in October of 2016, when the former actor led him to an upstairs room and locked the door behind them. Spacey complained that he had discomfort in his groin area, 
then forced the masseur's hand onto his genitals. Spacey then became aggressive, attempting to kiss the man and offering him oral sex. An active member of the United States Marines and a 19-year-old girl were both arrested for manufacturing and distributing LSD to members of the military and civilians in the area of Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. 23-year-old Andrew Christian Gray and 19-year-old Allison Alexia Seeley were both arrested. But the Mind Unleashed reports it's not clear what the relationship between the two is. However, a statement from the Onslow County Sheriff's Office said they are both connected to the same area in Jacksonville and were the only suspects of a joint investigation that the department carried out with the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. Gray was charged with felony trafficking of LSD by sale, delivery, manufacturing, and possession, while Seeley is facing additional charges, including conspiracy to traffic LSD. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the Conscious Resistance Network, featuring videos, news reports, and articles from a spiritual anarchist perspective. Experience the Conscious Resistance at theconsciousresistance.com. How would you like to have your business featured on the Liberty Beat? You can just send an email to libertybeat at snls.news for details. This is the Liberty Beat, produced in partnership with SNLS News and listeners like you. The Liberty Beat is online at libertybeat.news and snls.news. I'm Mick Murrow, reporting for the Liberty Beat, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. With job numbers near historic lows, Forbes magazine has released a list of tips for finding a job, all of which involve witnessing an employer murder someone. Forbes says despite the grim economy, employers are still hungry for talented workers who know how important it is to forget about whatever they think they saw or heard. So uh, me and a couple of friends were out smoking at the viaduct the other day, and uh, we saw this really rich guy in a Mercedes pull up in his car and drop a... Uh, nothing. Now I'm the Vice President of International Development. According to Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein, we had a great quarter and hired hundreds of new employees. I haven't done anything wrong and all my employees will tell you the same thing because that's the deal we had. But the article warns that stumbling onto a coke fueled CEO strangling a prostitute isn't a foolproof method for finding work because employers are just as likely to murder you as they are to hire you. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, 855-453, that's 855-450-3733. Here for hour number three, three hours of radio, live radio, radio you can call in and you can change the topic to whatever interests you. This is not you have to talk about what the hosts want to talk about it. We've been ta- We've been all over the board tonight. I mean, we have been talking about... We talked about Argentina, Argentina, and we've been over the, the bank board, but not really outside of that. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's been a mostly money show tonight. It has mostly been money, but we we talked about how Argentines are are having a difficult time affording birth control. A uh, story about Argentina and the high price of condoms. Uh, we talked into J- talked about J.P. Morgan Chase's precious metals desk and three guys that were working there. It's, they were new employees. They'd only been there for about 10 years, 10 years of uh, actively manipulating the silver market so they could get rich off of it. The question remains is, well, who else at J.P. Morgan Chase might have known what was going on? And I guess we'll we'll just kind of follow that story. But Ian, you wanted to change things. Well, we'll we'll stick with money. We'll we'll stick with good, honest money, like the Venezuelan petro. Yes. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> not honest. No, I you wouldn't mean, say so. Y- you're telling me that a government is putting out a cryptocurrency, and you don't believe that it's it's honest. Yeah, I've never I've heard not. of a government putting out an honest currency. No, and so, I mean, the, the writing was on the wall, obviously, for that reason when they first uh, introduced this concept of the supposedly oil-backed Petro, uh, which then became like oil and diamond and gold-backed. Like, they were going to just throw everything that's valuable be- behind uh, the so-called Petro. So, tell and us of about the Petro. And, of course, they could do that by just creating a... St- 
stack of, of stable coins on Stellar. They don't even need to offer their their own f- framework. Yeah, if but they then they wouldn't be in control. Yeah, let's, exactly. Let's let's talk just about what is the Petro. I mean, is it like Bitcoin? Well, that's the thing. Um, it's not really clear exactly to me what it is. I know at one point you had downloaded the Petro wallet. Yep. How'd that go for you? Didn't work. <laughs> Meaning you couldn't download it at all, or you I, did I, I got it, it downloaded. I got it installed. Uh, it I when I tried any functionality and realized I have a very poor grasp of uh, Spanish, Spanish or Portuguese or whatever mm. spoken in Venezuela. I just yeah, it's I, Spanish in Venezuela. Yeah, uh, I, Portuguese is only in Brazil, Brazil and South America. Go. Um, but it just uh, didn't really appear. Now, if I if there were actual Petros out there, I could have loaded into my wallet. We could have had more of a test, but. I downloaded the wallet. They had that out. But as far as I know, is the Petro actually released into well, the wild? That's one of the things that I've been trying to figure out here because, uh, you know, we every now and then we'll, like maybe every f- several months, we'll kind of check in on the Petro and right. see if we can figure out whether anybody can actually get these things. And the last time we talked about the, the Petro, it was supposedly being introduced into very heavily regulated um, uh, Venezuelan crypto exchanges. And that so the idea would be that you could get the Petro mm. if you were a Venezuelan and you could, you know, go through their know your customer process to prove, you know, your whatever the equivalent of the Venezuelan social security number and show your ID. And supposedly they were available, but very limited as far as the number of exchanges. And uh, it was very confusing as to whether or not you could actually get the Petro. There are several articles that I've just been sort of pouring over over the last hour to try to get an idea of what the current status of these things are today. Uh, according to, let's see, there's the latest news about the Petro is that Venezuela's largest bank, which is a pet, excuse me, a pet, it's a government-run bank. Okay, the Bank of Venezuela. They have now, I guess, changed their website to have some sort of a cryptocurrency area in which you can purportedly acquire the Petro. Now, this is, um, what they're suggesting here in some of these news articles is that the way the site is laid out suggests that perhaps the Bank of Venezuela will add other cryptocurrencies at some point that people could then purchase those through the bank. Well, that'll be trustworthy. That's wildly speculative, you know, at, at this point. Uh, the Venezuelan government, of course, has been acting as though the Petro is this wild success, uh, while on the other hand, a lot of people on the outside are, you know, not so impressed, including uh, the story I have here from Lugin, Lu, Luigano uh, Bracci, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, it's from Venezuelanalysis.com. And what was interesting? What's interesting about this story, and it's a little bit detailed. I'll, I'll try to you know skip around through it. But uh, what's interesting about this is the guy writing it apparently is a chavismo, which is an individual who is on the side of the government, the status quo. He would have supported Chavez back when mm-hmm. Chavez was running Venezuela, right? And uh, presumably supports Maduro to whatever extent uh, is necessary to continue the the status quo there. And he does a pretty good kind of rundown from his perspective uh, on the Petro. So he uh, talks about, again, this is from Venezuela Analysis. And uh, so the story is regarding another article by a Venezuelan economist, which caused some controversy, entitled, One Year from the Recovery, Growth, and Prosperity Plan, What of the Petro? And this uh, individual was trying to take stock of the Venezuelan so-called cryptocurrency 12 months after Nicolas Maduro had launched economic measures of great importance for the country. Did, did those measures include 130,000% inflation? That's what it's running in 2019. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad over there. You're talking about the Bolivar, uh, the Bolivar Soberano, which is the, the government currency right, right. in Venezuela. And supposedly the Petro was going to slow the... Uh, the inflation, right? That's right. The, at least that's what the pitch was. Well, now it's going to be backed by oil, so therefore we've got value uh, behind it. And of course, no, nothing has has slowed down because, well, governments inflate currencies, and the Venezuelan government loves to inflate theirs, and they're not they've they've no reason to stop. 
Uh, Gaz- Gavazut, who's the original author of the article he's talking about here, lands strong criticism against those who advocated the elimination of currency controls, pointing out how little this has helped solve hyperinflation and the crisis. However, perhaps the most controversial thing about the article was his opinion of the Petro, which can be summed up as another shocking failure. He even goes so shocking far, so far, right? <laughs> yeah, I, that doesn't I'm appear to be shocked. Ten- shocked to find out there's gambling going on in here. You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm not. Cle- it's not clear that that's supposed to be a tongue-in-cheek uh, reference, uh, you know, or that he actually is is shocked. Uh, <laughs> right. I don't know which would be funnier. Yeah. He even goes so far as to claim that quote the Petro, having been described as the chi- China's most Described by China's most influential risk qualifier, the Dagong Agency, as a, quote, financial genius, unquote, is nothing more than the laughing stock of the cryptocurrency world. Was he a stable genius? That's the question. <laughs> yeah. Well, when a communists very... start calling you a genius, you might be really wrong. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he says further, what an outrageous disappointment, unquote. He explains the Petro's explicit objectives were to strengthen the sovereign boulevard, the paper currency. That is to halt devaluation and even reverse it by pegging the value of our currency to the country's oil wealth and attracting foreign investment to the national foreign exchange market. So was there supposed to be a peg between the Petro and oil and between the Petro and the boulevard? No, no. it's just hoping you're going to get lost in See, all I this. I, mean, I don't understand how the Petro would have any effect at all on the value of the boulevard except to give somebody another state-sanctioned way. So yes. it's not going to increase the value of the boulevard. It's going to decrease it. Yeah, so they, they initially, and when Maduro initially announced the Petro, he announced an issuance of 100 million Petro. So, I mean, if you look at Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, for that matter, uh, the issue is 21 million. Is 21 million. Mm-hmm. That's kind of reasonable. When they, you know, right out of the gates, we're going to mm-hmm. do 100 million. Well, that means they must have 100 million barrels of oil that they, they've got ready to go uh, in case you want to come exchange your Petro for some some barrels. Right? And uh, then we're free to grow that up to 5.9 billion Petros. So they must have 5.9 well, they may have 5.9 billion in the ground, but yeah. th- if they could get it out of the ground, they wouldn't be starving. Exactly. I can tell you more about it coming up. Yeah, please. 855 450 free. What do you think about the Petro? Or more to the point, do what you do have you have one? Yeah, do you have <laughs> one? What do you think about governments uh, controlling your money? Because that's really what this is about. This is Free Talk Live. Business owners, you want more customers? Accept cryptocurrencies. There's people all around you just waiting to spend money at your store. If only you would take it. I know, you've been waiting till someone else makes it easy. Well, good news. HelpMeTakeBitcoin.com adds Bitcoin to your point of sale, totally free. Use the same equipment you already have, now with Bitcoin. And unlike credit cards, there's no fees. Let the guys at HelpMeTakeBitcoin.com bring new customers to your store. HelpMeTakeBitcoin.com Warning, this is a privacy alert. You are being spied on right now as I speak by your phone. If you want this to stop, visit GoDarkBags.com and we'll show you how elite military units protect themselves and how you can too. Godark bags are lab tested and guaranteed for life. Visit GoDarkBags.com now and enter discount code FTL to save 15%. That's GoDarkBags.com, discount code FTL. Your privacy depends on it. End transmission. Free Talk Live is now on more than 200 radio stations nationwide. We've had more than 18 million podcast downloads, and we claim millions of listens a month. We're a multimedia ad venue with print, email, web, and terrestrial radio marketing platforms. We strive to have ad packages that cater to advertisers big and small. Contact me today at MarketFreeTalkLive.com to see what we can do for you. MarketFreeTalkLive.com. If you're a local advertiser, contact this station. But if you can service a national audience, contact me, MarketFreeTalkLive.com. You might be living in a free country, but are you living a free life? Are you able to do whatever you really want to do? Being stuck in a job or difficult business, or being locked into a relationship with a woman you might like, but you're not free to do what you want. I'm Caleb Jones, and my staff and I have taught hundreds of thousands of men how to create location-independent income and how to date women under your terms. Go to freelifeinfo.com to download seven free books and podcasts so you can live a life like this too. Is spreading the message of liberty, cryptocurrency, and peace around the globe worth $2 per month to you? 
As you may already know, in addition to our internet feed, LRN.FM broadcasts on free-to-air satellite across North and Central America, as well as Sub-Saharan Africa. And we've been available on satellite for free 24-7 since 2010. The LRN.FM free-to-air satellite signal is reaching some of the most oppressive regimes in the world, and there's no doubt our ideas are making an impact. You can learn more about the channel's impact by watching the three-minute video at fund.lrn.fm. If you'd like to help free minds globally with our ideas of liberty, cryptocurrency, and peace, you can donate as little as $2 per month via fund.lrn.fm. You can help us continue and expand our satellite broadcast to multiple continents. Visit fund.lrn.fm today and thank you for your help. Don't forget to share the link on social media. That's fund.lrn.fm. The LRN.FM social media channels have been revamped. We've eliminated Facebook and focused on other platforms like Twitter and Mastodon, the decentralized alternative to Twitter. On our accounts, you'll find posts from multiple LRN.FM show hosts together in one place. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.lrn.fm or better yet, move to the decentralized Mastodon social media platform at toot.lrn.fm, T-O-O-T dot L-R-N.FM. I think you'll like it. Looking for a great real estate investment? Consider New Hampshire, which is ground zero for the Liberty Movement. Your first call should be to Mark Warden from Porcupine Real Estate. He's more than just a real estate agent. He's your New Hampshire concierge. Where are the best places to live? Do you want farm, city, the burbs, or forest? Do you want a duplex or multifamily building so that renters pay your mortgage? There are homes in all price ranges in New Hampshire, and Mark can help with financing too. Invest in Liberty and property. Mark Warden can help. PorcupineRealEstate.com Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or hit us up on Discord. Discord, a very cool app. Just load the app. You can get it uh, in your app store. Use your high-speed internet connection. Use your high-quality microphone. Contact us here at the show. Find out how at discord.freetalklive.com. And you will sound just like you're in the studio with us. Uh, when you call in, the us in studio is myself, Chris. I'm Ian. And I'm nobody. And we have been talking the Petro, the Venezuelan cryptocurrency that is alleged to exist, but I've never seen proof of it. Maybe it does. They keep talking about it like it's a real thing, but I've never been able to find any proof of that. So maybe it exists, maybe it doesn't. What does yeah. the article say? Is there any indication of that? Whether it exists or not? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, the supposed uh, Petro is allegedly available through. Uh, <laughs> that's that's kind of couching your words there. Well, I get I, it. I I'm understand. I'm supposed because it's yeah. promised that they're going to back it with things. And I suspect that if you go knocking on whatever uh, governmental yeah. bank, central banking door, uh, Petro office and demand your. A barrel of oil and your fraction of a diamond or whatever it is. That, I'm not yeah. still not clear what it is that exactly. is actually well, backing that's, the, that's the thing is they're saying they're going to back it with things, but they've never said how much of what. Well, supposedly so, a barrel of oil. Yeah, that was the original thing. Uh, they, one they, Petro is supposed to be worth one barrel of oil? Yeah. Yes, and but then they so sweeten. It's like about 55 bucks. And but, it's supposedly a $60 price, U.S. dollar, mind you, price for a Petro. So it's all. I think they've they've pegged it to sixty dollars <laughs> rather than however many hundreds of thousands of uh, bolivar that might be, or tens of oh, thousands. Oh, good or whatever. God! So they've pegged it to the dollar price of oil rather than pegging it to actual oil, even though they've got oil and they don't have any dollars. These people are insane. <laughs> so <laughs> you got some calls. We can talk more about the petro coming up. Yeah, we're going to go to Russ in California. $1. Russ. Hello? Okay, well, I'm sorry. You're on the radio. You're on the radio. Hey. Hey, Russ. Well, yeah, I mean, this is a $1,000 boulevard bill. Oh, you have uh, one. Be a you have a bill. Bucks. Okay. And They're boulevards, though. 
Are you saying, sir, yes. that you have one of these, or are you just talking generally right. about them? Well, you said Boulevard, no, not I Petro. Have you have a Boulevard. Right. You have a thousand Boulevard yeah. note. Right. Okay, that's right. not worth much. <laughs> well, the banks won't touch it. <laughs> no, of course they won't. Why would they? Yeah, I've know. got uh, 50 million uh, Zimbabwe dollars. We got 10 trillion Zimbabwe dollars right up there on that wall, I think, or maybe 1 yeah. trillion, but who's counting? <laughs> they go up to trillions now? They did. Oh, no, sure. no, those are old. Yeah, oh, those are Oh, wow. Dumb. I gave somebody a sandwich for that 50 million. I got ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I might be able to get a piece of bologna. Yeah, some yeah. baloney, not in Venezuela. <laughs> See, that's what the people at the Venezuelan Treasury should be doing for a side gig. They should be selling their money for overseas for novelty value. So, if you've got a thousand yeah. Bolivar, and by the way, you probably don't have the new Bolivar Soberano. You probably have the old Bolivar Fuerte, I would guess, um, unless you've been down there recently or somehow ordered this recently because it was a year ago in in 2018 uh, in August that they changed from the Boulevard Fuerte to the Boulevard Soberano, which means the Boulevard, the strong Boulevard, which is Fuerte, and then Soberano means sovereign. So now it's a better currency. Uh, They've knocked better. five zeros off the end of the old Boulevard Fuerte. Um, by the way, according to DolarToday.com, always got to check this website when you're talking about Venezuela. Uh, right now you now can get... Now is that Dolor.com? D-O-L-O-R? No, D-O-L-A-R. Dolar. Okay. DolarToday.com. Because Dolor is their word for pain. So <laughs> oh, I... okay. Well, <laughs> it, it works both ways. Yeah. Pain Today would be a great name for a Venezuelan website. <laughs> if you have one U.S. dollar in Venezuela and you go into the black market, you can get approximately 20,000 Bolivar Soberano for one U.S. dollar. I remember back when we first talked about the Soberano um, Bolivar, it was trading at about 76 to 1 a year ago in uh, in August. Wow. So that's your... There's your so there's apparently your inflation. nobody believes that they're going to be able to uh, to trade each of these twenty thing twenty thousand things for a fifty five dollar drum of oil. <laughs> well, yeah. you would need twenty yeah, thousand really. times fifty five in that case uh, yeah. to have. Well, not but but the thing is, uh, I'm saying that if if one of these petros is supposed to be a a, a drum of mm -hmm. oil, then. You know, there's no way that there that a drum of oil that you can get twenty thousand drums of oil for a dollar. So obviously, nobody believes that one of these petros is worth a drum of oil. What was your point tonight, caller? Besides, you know, ragging on the uh, the boulevard, <laughs> which, which is, is always fun. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ragging. I y'all were. Oh, you're um, not. You, you no, mean you want to take my petro or my? I was, uh, huh? I was seriously wondering if it was worse than anything than wiping my dog's butt with. No, I I, I think yeah, your dog deserves better. Yeah, honestly. your dog deserves better. <laughs> Get some paper towels or some napkins or something like that. Hey, Russ. Yeah, thanks. Be safer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for your call, man. You know, um, there's ink on that stuff, so who knows? What yeah, it's... you don't have to do that. By the way, the dog will take care of herself. That's true. Uh, <laughs> so in in Venezuela, you have a government that runs the central bank, and the government is not hampered by printing money. When they print money, money loses value, and now you have a case of what we have in Venezuela: people starving, people that have eaten zoo animals because there was no other food to eat because the government wants to keep printing money so they have money this destroys everyone else and the same thing is occurring to various degrees in almost every country in the world well here's more from the assessment of of a supporter of the status quo in venezuela a so-called chavismo uh, which is the first time I've actually ever read anything written by a Chavismo. Normally, when I didn't we, know they could write. Uh, <laughs> when we uh, <laughs> we talk about these issues, it's usually from a critic of uh, Venezuela. It, but in this case, he's somewhat critical of the uh, the status of the Petro. He says the Petro looked to provide a means of circumventing sanctions in the international financial system, particularly the SWIFT interbank transfer system. It was intended because you know there's a lot of sanctions against Venezuela. It's they can't move money around easily. Sure. Mm. Uh, it was intended to be a means of, to be able to make inter international payments without going through SWIFT and thereby circumventing difficulties in favor of the normal development of our foreign trade. Needless to say, none of these goals were achieved. When a project fails to achieve its goals, it's declared unsuccessful 
And that's that. Then he gets into some Twitter goings on between different sides. We're going to skip that. Um, And he says here that uh, then he talks about the U.S. government and their sanctions. And certainly that makes an analysis of these things difficult because it's always easy for the socialist to say, well, it's because of the U.S. government. If it weren't for the government sanctions, we would be doing just fine here. And he does a little bit of that uh, in this story, but he still admits that ultimately the Petro has not been a, uh, a raving success. We can talk more about it coming up. The SWIFT system is an international organization, but you know the U.S. has a lot of pull with this organization. 855-450-FREE. That's when we implement things like uh, embargoes and things like that and say money can't flow where money wants to flow. We can get that done because we have the petrodollar, not to be confused with the petro. 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. I want to tell you about my favorite cryptocurrency wallet, Edge Wallet at edge.app. Edge is the wallet I use more than any other, and that was true long before Edge Wallet became a sponsor of Free Talk Live. Edge Wallet allows you to buy, sell, trade, and securely hold your cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, tokens, Monero, Ripple, Dash, Bitcoin Cash, and more. It's available for both Android and iOS, and you can download it via the Play or App Store or via Edge Wallet's website, edge.app. Secure your freedom with Edge Wallet. Gold has definitely been on the move recently, and there is no more secure investment historically. McIlvaney ICA has been helping people take delivery of precious metals and find storage options for decades. They've helped thousands of investors with their precious metal IRAs. Call ICA today for your free portfolio review at 800-525-9556 or download their free report online at icagoldsilver.com to learn how you can double your gold and silver ounces even within an IRA. 800-525-9556, icagoldsilver.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at Bitcoin.com. That's Bitcoin.com. Some of you asked, and now we've delivered. LRN.FM's live Keen New Hampshire studio shows are now streamed in HD on Twitch. Visit our channel at twitch.lrn.fm and give it a follow. If you have Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription on Twitch. If you use it on our channel, Twitch will give LRN.FM a monthly piece of your Prime subscription cost. So please watch, follow, share, and subscribe to twitch.lrn.fm. That's twitch.lrn.fm. This is a special alert for business owners, consultants, coaches, folks planning retirement, entrepreneurs, and anyone who is saving and investing to build a financial future. You are likely aware that financial privacy for most people has recently died a miserable death. And let's face it, without privacy, there really is no security, is there? Bankrupt governments and banks on the verge of collapse are perhaps the biggest threat to your financial future today. The Lighthouse Law Club recognizes this and has been working diligently to provide safe, secure, and productive tools to ensure your privacy, your financial security, and your future financial well-being, despite the catastrophes which many people fear are looming ahead of us. Find out more with a variety of free videos on the YouTube channel for Lighthouse Law Club. 
Just search YouTube for Lighthouse Law Club and secure your future today. Some of our live shows are streamed in HD on Twitch. Please follow and share at twitch.lrn.fm. That's twitch.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That is our toll-free number, 855-450-3733. That's the number you can call and get on the air. We've got some time left, and I've got some open phone lines. I'd love to talk to you about whatever topic is on your mind. We've been talking about the Petro. That is a Venezuelan cryptocurrency created by their government, allegedly. We say allegedly because none of us have ever been able to actually verify that the Petro is ever anything. Uh, has it been released? I mean, does anybody own a Petro? If you own well, a Petro, we should give us a call. We should set somebody out who knows Spanish to find out if there's a Petro. <laughs> that would be a good place to start. They supposedly do, do exist. Okay, so we haven't People seen People who speak that. Spanish? Oh, yeah, there's thousands no, of them. No, the Petro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> supposedly, they exist, and they can be acquired on Venezuelan exchanges, regulated by the government under strict know-your-customer requirements. And ostensibly, they are trading for less than sixty dollars, which is what their supposed sixty U.S. dollars, mind you, is what their supposed price is supposed to be. Um, but there are uh, there's an article over at Bitcoin.com from April where they talk about um, what they call OTC or over the counter trading groups on like Telegram, where people are trading these things. So there are places outside of the exchanges to find huh. them. Now, what wallet actually? You should go check one of those out because I'd like to know how an exchange, how a Telegram exchange works. It's just OTC, meaning that uh, you just find somebody who wants to sell, who's willing to sell for whatever price. I don't know if they have escrow or how the, exactly it works, but it's right. just a chat room where people are buying and selling. Okay. Things. Hmm. Uh, so, but again, it doesn't. There's no way for us to go right now and be like, well, what's the current price of a Petro? We can't right. check in on Coin Market Cap. Yeah. And see, because there's no public data that I know of from any of these Venezuelan exchanges. You don't get to see anything like that unless you get into the exchange and pass there know your customer. And you uh -huh. Or you have enough faith in the Venezuelan government to believe that you can exchange one petrol for one barrel of oil. And you could look up the barrel of oil for an average cost there. But that's assuming you trust them, and I don't no. trust them. Nobody well, even does. Even this Chavismo who's writing the story here at uh, Venezuela, I think it's Venezuela Analysis, VenezuelaAnalysis.com, uh, he's not even sure what it really means to be backed, and he's going to get into that here by a, uh, yeah. a barrel of oil. Well, unless you're backed by a finite quality quantity, which is stated, it doesn't mean anything, nothing at all. No, and of course it's a government... Uh, deal. So if M Maduro decides, well, now by the wave of my fiat wand, I just have determined that it is no longer a full barrel of oil. It is now half a barrel of oil. I mean, he can do I this meant, anytime. I meant a quarter yeah. barrel. Right. Yeah. And that's what happens. So um, a little more of his analysis. So again, this is somebody who's the, on the side of Maduro, who's been... looking at the last year of the supposed uh, Petro. And he talks about how whenever the government in, the, in Venezuela proposes a new plan or idea, it gets railed on by all these, you know, international publications, people on the internet pile on. And he says that we we in Chavismo, unfortunately, have become accustomed to responding to this critique by doing the opposite. We unanimously applaud every idea that comes from our side, often without thinking about it, without meditating and without debating it. Once a project is born, there's a debate internally somewhere. He says, I suppose, in the national leadership of the ruling United Socialist Party or somewhere. But once it's approved <laughs> and publicly announced. How can he read? How can he proofread his own article and stay convinced so that, funny. that this is a good idea? Uh, once it's approved and publicly announced, everyone supports it. And anyone who does not is suspected of treason. They are criticized, insulted, or pushed aside. Someone who knows that something's going to go wrong has no significant outlet in which to say so. Personally, I think that in the first stage of Petro, people who were not trained, who did not have all the necessary economic and technical knowledge or political commitment, were appointed to be in charge of this very important project. 
Finally, they had to be removed. Despite this, we all suppo supported the project in good faith and kept any reservations we had to ourselves, knowing that if we firebomb the nation project with criticism and doubts, we would help make it a shipwreck. So, you know, they're doing their good Chavismo thing and yeah, staying yeah, quiet. Yeah, yeah, but that's not the thing, because when you pretend that something that isn't going to work is going to work, then what you do is you pour resources into the wrong places. <laughs> right. This is the, <laughs> because the emperor somebody, has no clothes. Somebody was getting a salary. There were probably a squad of people in the Chavismo government or, or the Chavez government mm -hmm. or Maduro, I guess now. Yep. They were getting paid to do something. And nothing they did. There is was a whole lot of nothing. Anything <laughs> for two years. Well, we looked, man. We couldn't in, find any in, evidence. No smoke. No fire. In a socialist so. government, you're not going to have accountability. That's that's a that is a feature mm -hmm. of that. That is something that is part of it. Like he said, it, he didn't even know where these decisions get made. Of course yeah. not. Well, you you never do because everything you can't make them in the legislature. Okay. No. The, the legislature could not act fast enough. It, it couldn't do enough transactions per second. It's like Bitcoin. Right. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> but the, uh, so it has to be done in the executive branch and it has to be done by fiat because remember right. markets, how many times a day does a market price change? Infinite. How could any one person yeah. catch up with that? And that's just one price of one item. Right. Well, you've <laughs> got to make the exact price the right price for every uh, every product. He's, but the right price changes from moment to moment well, because conditions in, change yes. from moment in to your, moment. In your American capitalist pig view, yes, but in Russia it was I'm easy. I'm talking about physics. Just check the uh, Sears just, in just Russia, say, they read the Sears catalog <laughs> yeah. to find out what things cost in America, just, which is the closest they could come to the right price, but it wasn't, wasn't the right, right price. It was the wrong price if because you, it was the right price for Chicago and the wrong price for Stalingrad. Right. If, if that's the point and that's why communism never works you can't just set a price it's going to it's never going to be right it's yeah. going to be right for a second that you write it and down bernie sanders i haven't given bernie sanders a beating lately <laughs> he just came out and said uh um that landlords shouldn't be able to just change their price to anything they want, any time <laughs> they want, as if you know people are going to jack their rents to a million dollars. Somehow people are going to just pay that because they have to. There, there is something that prevents that. That's called a market. The market, the yeah. buyer. Yeah. yeah. There, there were many well-meaning colleagues, he says, from many institutions who began to promise things about the Petro that were never fulfilled. In failing to fulfill them, they've caused deep disappointment. There was talk, for example, that ministry savings banks would convert their funds to Petros <laughs> as a way of preserving their value in the face of hyperinflation. There was even talk of delivering cryptocurrency mining machines to savings banks and preserving in public employee benefits in Petros. None of that was done. And those who stayed with the savings banks in the hope that the promise would be fulfilled lost their money in the face of rising devaluation. Amazing. The, wow. The government also bought containers with mining machines, which were donated to universities and institutions and announced with great hype. As far as I know, most of these mining machines are not being used, possibly because of problems with the Venezuelan electrical system. Their use should, in any case, be as transparent as possible. Other colleagues mistook Petros for crypto mining, and people were encouraged to buy mining machines. There were also state officials who seized them, prevented their importation, or, <laughs> Unbelievable. or needed bribing to allow their, their entry into the country, oh, God. generating much discontent and highlighting the strong contradictions within the state. If we could breed pigs that were smart enough to do communism but not smart enough not to it would be hilarious to watch them and not have to deal with there's real be... human torment going on exactly. behind right. this just um, laugh at the pigs forget about the dying people right so yeah he then uh, gets opinions from a econ so-called economist who's also a marxist and a former minister and constituent deputy he says so a keynesian uh, yep, and he says no, that Marxist. Keynes was completely different. He anticip this guy even anticipated its failure, explaining the problem with any cryptocurrencies that has to build confidence in order to be supported by investors. And uh, anyway, there's a little bit more. 
855 pretty ridiculous. free This is insane when governments try to get into crypto. You're not going to see this play out just in Venezuela, but you have China coming out with their own crypto. There's going to be a lot more. 855 free This is Free Talk Live. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Radio remains the most intimate of all forms of media. At home, at work, in the car, on smartphones. Over 90% of consumers still listen to radio every week. That makes choosing radio as a place to advertise your business one of the best decisions you can make. Email advertise at GCNlive.com and partner up with an experienced GCN representative. Advertise at GCN in live.com easy affordable effective okay nurse let's get this man to the er stat right away doctor we see this every day heart attack or angina pain due to blocked and clogged arteries chelation can remove obstructions or blockages from arteries and help avoid painful and expensive surgery now there's angioprim it's a liquid oral chelation product that you take with juice you start to feel the results fast angioprim increases blood flow all over the body and that means more energy and strength to take on the day with less aches and pains 60 years of research has gone into chelation and Angioprim is the result, a safe and easy way to unblock your veins and arteries from buildup that slow circulation. Paging Dr. Jones, please report to the emergency room right away. Log on now to angioprim.com. That's A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M.com. Or to speak with a trained consultant, give Angioprim a call at 954-882-7221. That's 954-882-7221. Most of you know that heart disease is the number one silent killer in the U.S. What if I told you for just $54.95 a month you could fight against heart disease naturally? At Heart and Body Extract, we've been helping thousands of people get back to a healthier heart. Don't just take my word for it. Check out all of the success stories at hbextract.com. Or to order, call 866-295-5305. That's 866-295-5305. hbextract.com. Don't risk it when you can take charge of it. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. When you amp Free Talk Live, you get perks like access to the AMP-only Facebook group and AMP podcast. Visit amp.freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month. So drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. Love what we do? Please help support our international satellite channels at patreon.lrn.fm. That's patreon.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That is our toll-free number. We still got time. You call right now. You might get on the air, 855-450-3733. But first, I want to tell you about Balance of Nature because guess what? I ate 
five, I ate 10 servings of fruits and vegetables today. I'm pretty proud of that because that's not an easy feat. It is easy with balance of nature. Good nutrition is key to looking and feeling great. However, eating right all the time can be a challenge. Travel and work schedules can get in the way, or you may not have the desire or time to shop and cook the right foods. Balance of nature has the solution. With just three of the Balance of Nature fruit capsules and three of their vegetable capsules, you get 10 servings of fruits and vegetables. That's a lot of nutrition, and that is easy. For a limited time, you can get free shipping plus a free set of fruits and veggies. Go to balanceofnature.com and use uh, use discount code FTL. That's balanceofnature.com, discount code FTL. And I also want to take just a moment to thank Tyler C. Tyler C. is our amplifier of the evening. We wanted to take just a moment and say thank you. He is a silver amplifier. That means he's made a pledge to send five bucks a month to help amp, uh, amp the program. What amp means is helps us advertise, market, and promote Free Talk Live. That's what that money goes towards. And it We're not is accepting Petros, though. I'm sorry to say. No Petros. I'll take a Petro. If you can find me, a, I'll, <laughs> I mean, I won't put the wallet on my phone. I'll put it on like a virtual machine running on a Linux box or something. But uh, Yeah, it's um, scary to install that software. I, yeah, it really is. I haven't seen the source. You're pretty ballsy to do but, that. But I yeah, guess. if you can find a way to get me like a paper wallet with a Petro in it, I'll, ta- I'll give you something <laughs> for it. That would just be cool. But again, thank you, Tyler. See, if you want to find out more about the AMP program and get our minds into more ears you can go to amp.freetalklive.com so So we're just talking about this petro and you know i'm i'm ian claims there's places to go that you could actually buy one that's the claim i've not seen it myself but that's what my research suggests gotcha Uh, it appears they're all well okay telegram would be the telegram group would be international but uh okay groovy but what the Venezuelan government really wanted to do was really keep this thing locked down so only their own citizens could, you know, have access to the Petro to realize all the yeah. wonderful benefits of the Petro. Now, the only well, Venezuelans I know, and I do know a couple, they've all left Venezuela um, and they're living in the United States or elsewhere. Which makes it easier to find them. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, but, but this idea that, you know, the cryptocurrency is going to be, you know, widely available. This this gentleman, uh, this... A Chavismo, uh, Chavismo, someone Chavismo. who supports the government there. Yeah, seems to have his doubts. And yeah. He's been pretty critical of well, it. Well, the other thing is if you're writing... The thing about a, a communist uh, country is... If you don't claim to be a communist, you don't have a job. So you're not going to be writing for the magazine. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, let me go on here with a little bit more of his analysis. After a year of the supposed rebuilding from the Petro that's going was going to, you know, this big promises about this thing. And ultimately, he claims none of the promises came true. Now, he does cite surprise, the surprise, yeah. surprise. He does cite the sanctions, of course, that uh, Donald Trump issued in 2018 against the Petro threatening U.S. individuals or companies uh, that would deal with the cryptocurrency. However, even if you were to wipe that away, the analysis given here is is pretty accurate. And that is that any foreign investor, even if they're not underneath the sanctions, why would they want to buy a Petro? Right. And and this is what he asks here. He says, if Maduro, for instance, is overthrown, what will happen to the Petro? Venezuela is a country whose government is directly pitted against the most powerful empire in human history. He goes on to talk about uh, the dozens of coup attempts, plans to overthrow Chavez, and uh, so he says that uh, these plans have increased with Maduro's rise to the presidency. There are threats of overthrowing the government, assassinations, military intervention, naval blockade, direct invasion. Also, we can't forget the decline of the left in recent years in countries such as Brazil, Ecuador, Argentina, etc., which has also brought about the dismantling of many projects carried out by progressive leaders. The Petro is much more centralized, he says, than Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Its main attraction, the Venezuelan government's promise that the crypto be backed by the oil in the fields of the Orinoco oil belt, is also its main weakness. The Petro's entire technological infrastructure, servers, and equipment are all in Venezuela. So unlike every other cryptocurrency right. where anyone who wants to can spin up a, a node, mm-hmm. and, you know, except for the 
Facebook thing, but that's not probably a real real that's crypto. Not, that's as real uh, as the Petro. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know, although likely you'll be able to get the Facebook uh, crypto when it uh, when it finally comes out. I Facebook would say Libra. that likely you'll be able to spin up a node if you want to. No. No, really? I mean no, Facebook. You have to have $10 million. No, ten million dollars if you want to be a uh, authenticator on that network. And I know that is that the only role on that network. Yes, I understand. It. See, yeah. they missed a big part of the uh, they, oh, yeah. a big part of the psychology of Bitcoin. They missed because being everything. able to do something yourself to create or earn it's a big part of the allure. Yeah, they didn't get anything about cryptocurrency other than crypto's trending on Twitter. So yeah. Therefore, we're going to come out with one. He says, wow. if Maduro's overthrown, all of that will be dismantled, and the prime promise of oil backing will disappear. Well, guess what? It's still just a promise, and I bet you it's not going to be uh, honored if you try to go get your oil. I guarantee. Uh, but the government... So, that, hmm. uh, they, obviously, these people didn't know how to do this. So let me Correct. just give a quick crash course in any dictators, uh, to any dictators or anybody else who is in possession of a thing and wants to issue a, a cryptocurrency behind it. All you do is you denominate the thing. You don't call it a petro. You call it a barrel. OK, you buy one barrel. OK, and a barrel is worth a barrel of oil. And when they show up at your air oil field with a barrel, you give them a barrel of oil. And that's how you give them confidence in the thing. And that's how business works. Right. So please study it. Mr. Socialist. <laughs> I suspect that has not happened a single time since the uh, the issuing of this yeah. uh, so-called Petro. I'll go and out on a limb and say it never will. You mm -hmm. don't never. issue more of them than you can deliver barrels of oil in a specified period of time. He, in fact, says, what does it even mean to be backed by Venezuelan's oil wealth? It's a historical deed that the fields of the Orinoco oil belt have been assigned back to back the Petro. But what an investor may ask is, if I have a Petro and I want to be given its value in oil, will it be given to me? The implementation of the Petro's oil backing is difficult to understand, as we're one of the first countries in the world to do this. And again, it's tied to the permanence of Nicolas Maduro in the presidency. I, I sometimes invest in things, and my question would be, why in the hell am I talking about investing in Venezuela? I'm sorry, I invest in people. I would invest right. in, the, in well, the Venezuelan people. People in Venezuela have no choice but to... But, to but never in the government. ...invest in, in Venezuela. But nobody, in, in, nobody else in the world wants to except maybe China. I'll put the rest of the story on our uh, our social media, nice. twitter.freetalklive.com, toot.freetalklive.com for our Mastodon profile, and also telegram.freetalklive.com. Because there's more. He's got a few more things to say, but we don't have time. I'm going to read it. We're going to go to the phones where we've got David in New Mexico. David, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, yeah, uh, another piece of the puzzle. It, obviously, a court case is too big to talk about all at once, so one little piece at a time, and you only got a minute left anyway. That's all right. What's up? But I just today I today I re, I opened up the um, I had them send me an email. The public defender sent me an email with a copy of the complaint that the cop wrote out after interviewing the victim and. Um, uh, the victim of that, what? That what are you charged with? Uh, that, that's the piece that I thought I'd pull out right now. It's, they wrote it up as a 30 da New Mexico statute 30-3A-3, which is uh, uh, criminal offenses, uh, harassment, and stalking. Stalking. Yeah, penalties. I can see that. That so, doesn't that doesn't shock me. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so. so, uh, so uh, uh. Anyway, so stalking consists of knowingly, knowingly pursuing a pattern of conduct without lawful authority directed at a specific individual when the person intends that the pattern of conduct would place the individual in reasonable apprehension of death, bodily harm, no. sexual assault, confinement, now, this or, was a government employee we're talking about that you are being charged on this? Yeah. Okay. I, I thought huh. this had to do with you calling a college radio station. It does. This is what they charge. This is what... Uh, you didn't threaten uh, to uh, kidnap uh, or rape or do any of those things to that those people there, right? I mean, you've never put I me in I fear of anything but crazy talk. Yeah, well, I didn't threaten to uh, do... Uh, anything, I don't Sounds think. like they I have no I case. Call. Fight. Well, that's, Fight it. That's what yep. it sounds don't like. Don't take the plea deal. Absolutely. I don't think you would go hey. I don't think you were going to, so thanks for the call. Thanks for the call, man. 
That's all the show we have for you tonight. But as Ian said, you can follow us on social media. You can find out more about this Petro Finagle silliness. Uh, 850. Uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good night. Do you have a crypto wealth advisor or coach? If so, has your cryptocurrency advisor been investing in technology stocks for over 20 years? Have they left the corporate world and retired? Or are they still trying to make a weekly paycheck? Have they produced six-figure results for their customers in the past 30 days? And very importantly, are they a member of the Digital Currency Council? Seth Maniscalco is the founder of Crypto Wealth Coach and CryptoWealthCoach.com. Seth invested in his first Roth IRA at 19 years old while living abroad and has been investing in Wall Street